everyone to episode three, Dark Heresy. Yay! Episode Does three. <coughs> everyone remember what happened last week, or would you like a quick recap? We Fight Club! Yeah, we established cover. Some people are working as prostitutes. Yeah. I'm now in a fight club, it seems. Fight Club. And you, and you, get, you guys get the fun cover. Because we got our side hustles going. And, I, and I'm on cleanup crew for a fun club. I found a weapons dealer. Ooh, that's what I'm... Yeah. Yes, and um, just to clarify something, because I didn't speak to Lucy about it, it was um, actually food rations rather than thrones that I'm not, you know, uh, oh, yeah. expecting. So, in other words, we're up, you know, so we're back, we're up to 21. <laughs> well, I am. Yeah. <laughs> be a food Which ration. means you're both back on 20. So you just got back the food tokens you used for your war wars. Uh, your Yeah. So I'm gonna have to up the ante a little bit, so uh, you know we got more comfortable living. Well, I've got, I've got, I've got 34 <laughs> coupons for winning. My, he's, my he's, oh, yeah. he's got 21 coupons. I have 15 and eight food blocks. <coughs> mm-hmm. yeah. So it's all good. But okay, so we'll be last here, left so. off, we have uh, Liri and Heras uh, upstairs with the rest of the uh, horrors. Um, with uh, Strages being very angry about losing out on money. Oh, yeah. oh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Um, you've got uh, Xerxes is in the security control room, but I have discussed with him off screen what his character is doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we have Carpath, Alice and Andronich are in the fight club. <coughs> uh, Andronich has just finished fighting and is cleaning up. Uh, so you guys have been asked to come back. Uh, to yeah. do the fight club there tomorrow shift. Ah, yes, and the uh, new password. Oh, what was it? Something. Oh. Yeah, Decay. Fine. Decay, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I did write that down. That's good. Otherwise, I was like, it's going to be rhubarb, rhubarb. It's absolutely fine. You had it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. You remember? Degrasse, Tyson. Okay. So, so it's where, so it's where the. We go to on the, what we talked about. So, so where you were. She's gone, you know, how does he feel about being lied to and she's out of money, um, blah, 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 getting sold for your first time. As he's about to take another thing, you suddenly heard radio static on a walkie-talkie, which he has brought out. Now, these are quite the old school ones. They're like, mm. they're quite chunky ones. The ones you've seen are much more discreet, but this is a much low technological world. So you've heard a, if you want to, you can roll a plus 10 awareness test to try and hear what the person is saying over the walkie-talkie. <coughs> I thought that was a oh, one. Oh, that was passed by four degrees. Sweet. Oh, that's a five. Oh, that's a five. Oh, that's a five. Five degrees. Yeah, I rolled a seven. Oh, very nice. <laughs> so you get the one for base and then the extras for on top, don't yeah. you? Yeah. So that's four de- uh, plus down five degrees. So two <laughs> five degrees of success. You nice. heard boss. 19. Boss, there's a problem. All of the money has gone missing. You need to come down here immediately. She's gone. I'll deal with this all later. Go back to your jobs. I'll speak to you then. He then goes out of the room and he looks incredibly worried. <clears throat> yes, boss. <clears throat> so the entire time I've been there, like, he leaves. Losing out on your virginity is far less of a problem than having no money at all. <laughs> Yeah, because he's so That's quite a damn prod, thanks, to be honest. Billy <laughs> <laughs> comes and talks to you, and she swings an arm around, and he goes, Don't worry, love. He's just stressed out. Once you explain that it's a mistake, and that guy doesn't know what he's talking about, that guy probably doesn't know and asks for an elbow, so. We'll go down. Someone's going to be watching us. We have a few drinks, and we'll see what happens. The rest of the girls head back downstairs. <coughs> okay, the two of you head downstairs. Yep. And uh, there are a few people around. Your table is free as normal. Um, most of the girls go sit over there, or they go back to their usual customers, or they were pulled from before they went upstairs. Sit back down at the table. Drink. <laughs> yep. So some time passes, and you realise that no one's really approaching you. No one seems to be bothering you. Nerves calm down. You don't see Sturges come back up. In fact, you don't see him for the rest of the shift. Mm. Mm. The last thing we heard from that side was... 
<laughs> Perhaps he's got stuck and stuck <coughs> in the toilet. <laughs> ah. <coughs> if I mean, by stuck a, you mean shot. It's it's all it's mm. all the food rations. They do clog you up a little bit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm so bloated in the ass. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that's something else entirely. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, you shift yeah. passes with nothing remarkable happening, you get to the end, your money is given <coughs> out, uh, and you get sent to go home and sleep. Ooh. Or go wherever you are going for the evening. I don't know if you've been paid out for another night. No, nope, yeah, you can go home and sleep. Yeah. How long do we have until our next shift? In, I know we're, we're, in, we're not working in the factory. Um, but we don't um, work there no more. <laughs> Just I suppose it's still a shift in a way. Go to the factory and like strip a heel. <laughs> so, hey boys! <laughs> so when is our next actual Basically trip? you're expected to come in for breakfast about 9 o'clock in the morning. Then you have the day here to sort of do the cleaning relaxing before the evening shift. Okay. Good. I'm going to take a wander around. <coughs> right. So it's about midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. <coughs> but time is relative down here because it's all... So you're in the night cycle, which means that they basically turn lights off to conserve mm. power. Mm. So where you are, some corridors are lit, but a lot of the places it, you get like a green glow or just darkness mm. with the occasional blue sparks of electrics. You're, you're from a quiet world, aren't you? Yeah. Wandering around the night cycle is not a suggested thing to do. It's like, yeah, we should go and explore. Uh, actually, maybe not. Okay. Maybe if there was more of us. Mm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Bet it isn't. I was expecting, like, why? What could possibly happen? <laughs> Everything. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, so you're going to go back to this thing? Yep. Going to go back to my dorm. Yeah. Risking a pisting. <laughs> you're insisting for a fast then. So, yeah, so you go down, get to bed, get some sleep. Yeah. Alright, so uh, when, when I get back to my. My uh, my box. Mm-hmm. I'll um I'll I'll do my nightly prayers, mm-hmm. but because it is Sanguinalia approaching, I will pray to Sanguinius, um and 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 pray pray that I can emulate his sacrifice, in the name of the emperor, and uh, I'll get my, my I'll I'll fashion a red badge to wear for Sanguinalia to show. Oh, yes, kill me in the emperor's name. Well, yeah, because traditional Sanguinalia people wear a red badge <coughs> to 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 represent one of the wounds that. Uh, that yeah. Sanguinius suffered. So from where you are... It's like Space Christmas. <coughs> you're sort of probably on the floor, kneeling down, yes. praying. Uh, do you have the top or bottom bunk? Mm. Well, I suppose I have the top, I suppose. Okay. Like, yeah. So Xerxes is on the bottom bunk, and you see sort of like um, wiring and bits of things, and he's got tools, and he's doing mm. something with like a technology. And like he's building, it looks kind of like a small box of some kind. <laughs> Working late? I, I am going to talk to him. I've uh, found a loophole in uh, the uh, tavern security that should I be able to tap into it? I can tap into the cameras and everything on this floor. Excellent. I'll aid us. Yes. But um, I've got to build it here and then take it apart to then put it back together mm. at there instead of me trying to build it from scratch there. Mm. So. <laughs> I'll leave, I'll leave you to your ministry to your uh, your administration of the machine. Finally, on Miss Hyde's blessings, mm. and he just continues like putting well, something together. Yeah, and I'll I'll get in my rack and get some rack time. Uh-huh. Lovely. Finally, he got into some rack earlier as well. Hmm. Twins, twins. Yeah. Twins. <laughs> a twin rack <laughs> and a rack. <laughs> okay, so everyone get some sleep. Yeah. You wake up. I wonder if there's any of those total recall uh, prostitutes with the three boobies. Three tits, oh. that's awesome. Three but awesome. <laughs> so while you're sleeping, mm-hmm. normally your dreams you can hear the whispers and the horrors and the parts. You know, like <coughs> right, the rest of when I sleep, you always hear something. Mm-hmm. But this time, you can always hear like a familiar voice that keeps calling you mm-hmm. and calling you, and you keep having to say to it, No! No, I won't go! And it's like, Come. Oh. Come back. Oh. Join oh. us. Well, tempt me. <laughs> Fuck off, grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, you hear a familiar voice. You oh, a dickhead! <laughs> you have not claimed my soul, but you shall not take it yet. So, by the time you do wake up, you've slept, but you don't feel very restful. Yeah. 
so bad that all I had stuck in my head was go on now, go, walk out the door, <laughs> just turn around now. You have some <laughs> stuck in my heart. Right. That's our song. You have some of the Empress prayers tattooed mm-hmm. on you, don't you? Yes. Uh, do you have one here? On uh, your back? No, I've got one on my back, and then I've got just Imperial Eagle sort of there. Okay, so your back feels uh, very hot, and mm. as you're stretching, have you ever felt like when you have sunburn yes. recovering and it just feels mm. tight? That's how your back feels currently today. Uh. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, it's like, it's fine, it was all a dream. Why is my back burn? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'll need to get more tattoos. <laughs> It's a sign from the other <laughs> not enough tattoos. Uh, More do devotional you, do you tattoos. Do you share a bed? No, yeah, top and tail. Okay. Right, yeah, so you wake up... Uh, uh, no, when, when it's just the two of us, there's probably enough space that we don't have to go top and tail. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought that's what the other how we... If, if, if anyone catches wind that we're going top and tail, they might question things. So it's easier to sleep the same way around. Oh. Okay, so you wake up in the morning, he's got like, an arm thrown around you, uh, spooning I immediately you. elbow him in the rib. That's exactly what you do. So you wake up to being elbowed in the ribs. <laughs> or you might not, if you're like Merlin, when you don't feel that shit. No, no, I think. Oh, yeah, no, I could do that. I'm just like, get <coughs> off me, you big fat head. <laughs> don't make me roll a weapon skill. <laughs> okay, so you just feel an elbow in the side. It jerks you awake. Yeah, it's like, no, no, five <coughs> more minutes. Time to wake up and get your fucking arm off me, honey. And then it's like, oh, you know, perks, same bed. Do you move your arm? Yes, I reluctantly move my arm. Um, <laughs> it's like... Mm. I shift the knife that's still strapped to my hip and jab him in the leg with it. Not enough to really hurt him, but enough that he feels it. Is it close to a certain area? How high up the leg are we? Yeah, <laughs> in a thigh. Yeah, there you go. Very close to <coughs> an area. Yeah, you know, with that, I'm just going to go, this is the closest I'll get to morning sex with you. <laughs> What's that about the perks? Oh no, that's, that's the pricks. Sorry. All right, I'm up now. I'm awake. <laughs> As I shuffle out of bed and start to get, you know, get my, you know, my clothes on and my overalls. You guys eat. You guys eat breakfast. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Protein bar. Well, actually, they're listed as nutrition <coughs> bars. that do not list what else is in Corp them. Corpse they're, like, they're like silver bars <coughs> that literally have nutrition bar written on them and nothing else. Ingredients it's fine. List. Redacted. No, they don't bother. They just stand out. Nothing else. Generally, um, we don't get paid to think what's in these things. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> is that is that the ones that I got from the thing, or is that the ones? No, those, that come out the, these are the ones that you normally have. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I actually go for one of the food blocks and try one of them. Okay. Uh, surprisingly, it's quite nice. It's almost like um, someone has taken the time to get some food um, and make it almost into like a stock block. Yeah. Um, so you can actually taste like food on it, meat Ooh, on it, flavour. Yeah, it's almost kind of like a gravy block. If it's you had to compare it to the taste of, of something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's quite nice. You probably like get for it. You probably actually couldn't eat a whole whole thing. That they are quite nutritious. You probably share one between two if you wanted to. <coughs> so They're not hungry, you are. I say with lunch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew it. it was like out of spite. It's just gonna be no. <laughs> <laughs> you eat the nutrition bar. Yeah, it's just like it's like half a block. So I wrap it back up. Oh. I might share one if you stop wrapping your fucking arm around me. I was asleep. That's no excuse. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> okay, so you guys head off toward your factory job. Yay, factory job! Woo! The thrills of modern society. <coughs> uh, so same thing it is a logic or a tech test plus forty. All right, um, seventy-eight. Come on. Oh, okay. Plus how much? I don't think I've got them yet. No, it's not with them yet. Come on. I thought you were doing jobs at the same time. No, no, it's fine. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so you guys how are we doing? No. I really don't want to have to do this this early. Okay. Well, how many, how, how many <coughs> did you fail by? Two points. Alright, so to you, you can try and do a deception. Fail by one point. Oh. <laughs> Literally, 61 and 80. Let's see. 60. Dece- you know, deception. Hmm. That's got way lower chance, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a fake point. <gasps> Already? Your first roll of the session. Hmm? Are you wrong? Good job. Doesn't matter, it's the same for either of them. I don't have logic or. Uh, Ha! Ha! Rolled even worse. Ha! Okay. What rolled? 
Deception. I rolled a 97. Okay, how many trees of failure is that? Three. <laughs> now you have to roll a deception. Yeah, so you can see plus 30. Um, let's see, so plus 10, because I don't actually have. Come on, baby. I'll swipe past that. You know, two, two degrees. Wait, what card? So you're the card for your job. Um, the uh, line worker. Okay, so uh, you're going along, you assemble a part, and then what you do is you fumble it so that it ends up like all falling apart on itself. What you do is, is you look around and you take it and you throw it underneath the conveyor belt so no one notices. <laughs> yes, I, nobody saw that, nobody heard that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> More work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fail massively at deceit. Okay. Like, six degrees. <coughs> okay, so how many degrees have you failed doing the thing back? It's just one point. Only one it? point. And how many deceptions have you failed by? Uh, six. Okay. Uh, so degrees. You, basically, you try and get the bottom, and what happens is, is you miss a little part of it, and you're like, shit. So what you do is you're going to try and move it along so that it's not in your level of the conveyor, but what you do is you push it too far, so it falls off the edge and clips another worker, and the worker looks at you, and you're like, <laughs> sorry. So you couldn't make it more obvious it was you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um, do they look particularly like... Uh, it's a, a, ma- a male worker and he's like looking at you like D- does what? it look like it actually hurt when no, it no. fell on him no no like it, sm- it smacks him in the back and he's like what the fuck are you do you have any way of um... Did that, well, that, that was my because I tried to deceive to okay, so, like... so when, when he does that I'm like roll to shrug <laughs> that's like, literally my reaction he like, like looks at you like oh, he gets back on with his work uh, he knows too much. You're gonna have to kill him now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on that. So, Don't tempt me. <laughs> so Andrew Nitch, you woke him up. Better. <laughs> Xerxes is already gone. Mm. Oh, well, I'll get my overalls on. Mm-hmm. Grab myself. Uh, 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 grab myself a corpse starch bar. Mm-hmm. Yep. And and, uh, and go to work via the chapel. Okay. Can I have an awareness uh, plus thirty, please? Ooh. Mm, corpse, corp, yeah, corpse starch. Like Mars bars, only better. <laughs> corpse starch. Yes. It's the corpse, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Section 40, so yeah, and plus 30, which means I succeed that by. 40. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Yeah. yeah, five degrees. So, five degrees success. success. So as you're walking along, um, you look behind you and you notice that there is uh, quite a, a big gentleman so he's quite tall mm. about six foot he's quite a wide gentleman he uh, he's dark skinned um, and he seems to be staring at you so then you uh, go okay is he following you so you cross across the way and he cuts across you take a left to go slightly longer and he's following mm. the same way as you this guy's definitely following you oh, I'll keep heading to the uh, the chapel then keeping an eye on my back Yep, so he's still following you. He's, um, from that awareness, he doesn't look like he's got, like, uh, he's openly carrying any kind of weapon, but it looks like he's got, like, something against his left mm. thigh mm. that's strapped to it. As you walk, you feel like there's a bunch of the material, there's, like, mm. something there. It's just, just his When the chapel is in sight, mm-hmm. I'll turn to him and say, pray with me, brother. Uh, of, of course. <laughs> I didn't know what was there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stealthy. The feast day approaches. We must, th- we must give thanks to the Emperor for his son. Of course. Yes. Mm. Yeah, totally. Okay. <laughs> Praise be to Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Praise be to Santa Claus. <laughs> So he, he follows you in the chapel. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. I'll light a candle and just sit there and pray for a bit. Praise be to Angel okay. Vampire Claus. So, oh, fucking oh, 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 it's just try and stab me, bitch. <laughs> so, so you watch him, right? So he's got big, like, <coughs> thick fingers, and you see him trying to, like, light the candle, mm-hmm. but, like. <laughs> oh, sausage fingers! <laughs> a, ma- a match is not necessary, brother. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I will light his candle from 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 my from my candle. Ah, huh. thank you. Humanity, humanity succeeds together. 
A man, a, a man <coughs> on his own will fall. Indeed. Uh, <coughs> sometimes there is safety in numbers. Mm, indeed. So, uh, that's where you're going today. I'm sure you know. You've been following me all morning. To keep you safe is my job I've been assigned to. By whom? By my boss. Who's your boss? Uh, you'll meet him later. He is interested in recruiting you. Mm, recruiting me for what? I have, I have gainful employment. Oh, uh, uh, he's probably better to talk to than me. Uh, I'm just... <coughs> He liked your style yesterday. Mm. He liked the way you punched the bitches. Yes. <laughs> he, li he likes the way you hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> For money. Mm -hmm. Is is that guy just like a black <clears throat> Lenny from... Uh, yeah. Kill him off in bed. Mm -hmm. Just thick as shit. Mm -hmm. Strong! Shit. Or like Lenny from Mice and Men. My dad's the Oh, one. yeah. yeah. Oh, I know it was something yeah, yeah. like that. They're both equally frustrating to read in English class. Mm. <laughs> I was sorry. thinking Crab and Goyle from Harry Potter. Right. Fucking what? knuckle dragons. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My goodness. Mm. I was not thinking Green Bar. <laughs> well, yeah. <clears throat> my devotions are done for the morning. I'm going to my shift. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> So am I so I thought I'm I'm going to take it that, that uh, you are now my shadow. Yes, I will keep you safe. The emperor keeps me safe. And me. <laughs> so you're making me you, this is like the hook thing. Sorry. <laughs> you can't come. You can't keep me safe. When it is my time, it is my time. There will be nothing you can do about it. But. Plastic. <laughs> you were using big words like it <laughs> <laughs> and my. <laughs> but, but so I'm going to ignore him and just. <coughs> okay, he keeps following you. <clears throat> yeah. It sounds mean, but just go down a narrow corridor. He won't be able to follow you then. <laughs> <laughs> even if, even if he could fit sideways, he wouldn't think of it. He could keep walking into the narrow passage. We're like, no. You go back at the end of the shift and he's got like halfway down just from sheer determination. <laughs> There's just no holes in the wall of where I'll his shoulders are. <coughs> okay, yeah. So it's a logic plus 40 or a tech use plus 40 test. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, plus so intelligence, um, is it how, many, how, how many is it halved if you've not skilled? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh no, it's uh, minus, minus 20. 20. Oh, minus 20. But you've got a plus 40 so it's halved plus 20. Halved <laughs> Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, so. So, base. Okay. No! Okay, how many trees have you Like, five. No, four. Uh, yeah, five. Five. It's plus 20 overall, so, so plus 40, but minus 20 for not being skilled. Oh, yeah. sorry, overall. Sorry. Oh, in that case, three. I failed by three degrees of success. Okay, do you want to try and do a deception plus 30 test? So. Do you, do you have to save? No. no. So, so don't plus save me at minus twenty. No, but I'll, I'll, I'll stand by my mistakes. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I know. I'm not good at this. Okay. So <laughs> you make a mistake, and uh, someone that's there who looks like they're supervising comes over to have a go at you, and as he's about to talk, he looks quite behind you and goes, "We all make mistakes. <laughs> Please try harder. Materials are expensive." And walks back off to where I he was. I, I will endeavour to do better. Yes. <laughs> right. As you've got, just got Mr. Shadow who's telling. Mm -hmm. I am going to, to atone for my Did failure. I'm going to, I'm going to flagellate myself. I'm going to go, go out, just go out the production line and and, and beat myself. <laughs> well, you're fucked, Mr. Shadow. Yeah. No. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. May I take a break? I Why? Take, so I can punish myself. Oh, I take, <laughs> One, uh, one degree of fatigue. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, it's stupid. Like, stupid. Go on then, Mr. Bodyguard. Protect <sighs> me from myself. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's, it's, yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's like Cyrus in, uh, in um, the thing. Mm -hmm. Strike force. Okay. Right. Okay. 
You come back with a vigour to work. <coughs> Lovely. Try again. Plus Lovely. 50. Magic <laughs> or tech use. So plus 30. 30. Yay! Oh, I'm happy. Okay. Right, two degrees success. That Drink. congratulation oh, was sorry, sorry, just yes. the thing you needed to get on with your day. A beating starts your day right in dark heresy. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Pain sharpens the mind. Okay. Alright, so the two lovely ladies. Mm-hmm. You wake up, you head down to the whole house. Yep. I mean the tavern. Yes. No, you were right the first time. You walk in again. Uh, there is breakfast there, the ladies are there, there are some of the gentlemen that you saw before sitting on the other table. Uh, Sturges is um, leaning up against the bar, he's back to you, having a very vigorous conversation with Hellstrom, which is the bartender from the last couple of nights. They're having very deep discussions. They don't seem to notice you coming in. Excuse me. I'm going to try to eavesdrop on that conversation. Same. Uh, so it's an awareness plus 20 test. So it's like, step in. You know. <laughs> oh. oh. Fail. By I'm, a degree. I'm going to fake point that. Yeah. I'm not. Ooh. That's it. Spend your fake points. See, give us fake points. You know, and we just uh, spend them. Spend. I mean, the, the way Chris rolled, he couldn't hear the fucking... Uh, I couldn't have heard hey. the door mm. on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> His own breathing. <laughs> he, he couldn't hear the fucking wind for the trees. Pass by two degrees. Okay, lovely. So um, you walk in and then you, what you do is you sit um, at the closest edge where your back is to the bar as well, but you've turned one ear to listen and then you sort of tuned out all of the other noise to hear what's going on. Yeah. You've walked in for him to, for Sturgis saying, um, I'm sick of it. I'm not paying that man another penny. If he thinks he can take out all of my workers, that's another thing coming. Elson goes, look, those guys were just cheap uh, drug junkies. We'll have to get better guards if we're asked for carrying payment next time. Maybe we can think about one of the girls doing it. Very stupid for any of them to attack any of our girls late at night. He's going, I don't know. I don't know if any of them could defend themselves enough to make running payments, or if I trust any of them. (laughs) You're just itching for this, aren't you? (laughs) (laughs) Why do you think I went... (sighs) I can just see it as as you hear it, it's like... (laughs) <laughs> so tonight we need to put on a show of you know some dude not paying the money and you punching his lights out she, she just walked up to the boss I'm not good at slutting I'm good at killing <laughs> can I'm I not... use my fist for other things <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at being a whore tell me who I can chin <laughs> I'm small enough that I can do it without much problem <laughs> so, yeah you see the two of them drinking one of yeah, recaf. That was yeah. out of character because I didn't actually hear what you mm-hmm. said. Let yeah. me fist the face, not the ace. Um, as you sit down, they push some food toward both of you. <laughs> Look at that, real food. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Might not yours. It's a good thing that I didn't go for Faro water instead of Hyra. Just, oh, look, food. You might need to put those traps out for rats and you'd be skimming them and making a rat coat. <laughs> rat coat! <laughs> Just come in with a file made of rat tails. <laughs> <laughs> and the rats. <laughs> Just the teeth. Yeah, it's like, you hear about that one? She's no, a beast it's just in bed. Just rat bodies <laughs> just all strapped to Literally. a fucking string, like, right? twatting people with dead rats. Okay, anyway. Uh, so uh, Scrooge's turns around and then he's leaning against the bar you know like elbows on the bar like looking out <laughs> looking over to you guys he doesn't really seem like he's really focusing on any of you and then he's like looking at the boys and he's just sort of like <sighs> as he lights up a low stick I'm making sure I'm keeping my head down when I eat my food I'm um, not paying attention do either of you have scrutiny? I do Scrutinise it. Scrut it. Actually, pretty good. I do not, but I will give it that. Okay. Would you like to scrutinise? <coughs> Any bonuses or? Uh, <coughs> it's just one note because you don't know them well enough. Okay. This is a flat test. <laughs> Minus twenty. I see. Ooh, oh yes, I pass by a degree. Well done. No. By a point, which means <coughs> a degree. By nine points. 
Uh, so that you're one point I, for failure. Yeah, I pass <coughs> by a point, which means it's a degree. Okay, so you're looking at him, you can't see anything. So what you can see is he's got, uh, his left leg is bouncing in an agitated fashion. He is looking around at some of the girls in the room, and currently he has a semi, as he just looks like he's trying to pick someone that he's going to sort of uh, get his frustrations on. This isn't going to be one of those ones that's going to be like a quick, <coughs> hard and... Mm. Kind of ones. Hard and dirty. Yeah. Hard and dirty. Hate fuck. Mm, no, I probably just something to vent his frustration then. So I'm gonna. Someone starts the hate fuck. I love has a gag reflex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and say quietly. So what would that be? That would be. I hurt you because I love you. Yeah, try and talk <laughs> quietly. Stealth. Stealth. Uh, or, or a deception because you're trying to talk quietly. Yeah, there isn't a sleight of mouth skill. No. Uh, Slight of hand that still apply to. Oh no, you're thinking. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with the stealth option over the deceive option because my agility is better. Fair. So if, if you're like trying to slyly take like a, a dick in the mouth, he's taking it off. I mean, would it technically be linguistics? No, it would still be slight of hand. With your mouth full? Oh, I've talked oh. <laughs> Um, or, uh, uh, maybe. That would be linguistics. Just imagine you, you know, you, you, you roll sure? really well. It's just like, how can you talk so well? Are you sure it's not a deceive <laughs> to pretend like you're actually making any effort to suck the dick? So the one you get for base, and then the two on top. That's three degrees of success. Yep, yep, so speak I rolled an eight. eight. Yep, yep. It appears that he's on the warpath, ladies. Okay. They all turn to one of the girls. Now this girl's got a lot of the uh, low um, tattoos and piercings and all the rest of it. And she goes, oh goody. And then the girls like roll their eyes at her. She ain't some kinky shit, is she? As, she, you know, she says that, I'm like, yes. He, she looks up at him and winks. He just looks at her, points, and they start walking upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or, or you can hear is slap my ass and call me sanguineous, and it's not her. <laughs> okay. So as you guys are eating, uh, Xerxes walks out, nods the two of you, <coughs> grabs a plate of breakfast, and then walks back into another room. Yeah. Well, I don't know that he's here, so I'm like... He's been here for like three days. The other girls are like, oh, he's doing something uh, to fix uh, our... We haven't been here for three days. Decisions. No, we've been here oh, just we've been here for rhubarb, rhubarb. This, this is the third yeah. day. We <laughs> had a night with... Um, damn, what do I name that The bitch? twins. The twins, yeah. Wait, he has one session with the twins, and look at him, all full of confidence. <laughs> oh, yeah, please. And her sister. Yeah, and now he's out paying up some of the extra times. Yes, it's one of the ones that bought it. No, these of them are here currently. But I know what they look like. Yes. Which is like, spend that with the twins. Nice. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He paid. <laughs> well, he's yeah, still true. paying. That is true. Yeah, still paying. So yeah, so yeah, so you go about your morning routine unless either of you are choosing to try and do anything else. <coughs> just genuinely going about the morning routine um, as we're doing general shit I'm going to saddle up alongside you and make sure we're doing the same job so we can have a squirrely conversation yes. mm -hmm. what was going on this morning when we came in um, I sort of have a look around are we within earshot of anyone I mean, the awareness check, plus 40, it's quite an easy one. Fucking hell. Um, yeah. No, you just do You know what? Head. Even with the plus 40, that would nearly be a pass. Um, Perception, <coughs> plus 40. No, because that was piss poor. Fake point. Oh, <laughs> damn! I point. don't see either. Uh, two extremes, boy. So, yeah. Plus 40, yeah? Mm -hmm. Eight degrees. Well, if you look around, no one is in the <coughs> shot of you. It's like... So... You know when he stormed off earlier on, at the end of the shift? Mm. It was because someone stole some money from him. 
Mm. And all the money from the previous jobs is gone missing. Oh. And the same people seem to be trying to take his workers as well. Oh. So he wants to put some more competent people in charge of watching the money at the end of the shift. Oh. So I might have to start some trouble afterwards. Or end some trouble. How so? Get into a scrap. Why? Because he wants to trust what he basically he trusts all of us yeah. as part of his working force. Mm. Trust is a very Most. strong Okay, he has more confidence in us he does than he does in drug dealers. Makes sense, yeah. <laughs> so he wants to put some more faith in us, but he doesn't think any of us would be able to handle ourselves in a scrap. Mm. So you're going to prove that you can handle yourself in a scrap so you can be put on that position? Pretty much. You do realise that being in that position, if something goes wrong, you're more likely to be shot. Or beaten. Generally just killed. I was in the art wise, there's nothing new. Okay. It's a risk not worth taking, personally, I think. We just need to keep our head down until we get our next mission. True, but we need to start gaining headway and if I'm put into a position where I can get potentially get more information it will speed things along mm. it's true we don't know what we're meant to be doing it's gathering in until you'd be in the best place for it logically that's wise go for that one good plan good plan great plan <laughs> but if you get killed it's not my fault I get killed it's in the line of service Sweet martyrdom. Welcome. <laughs> <coughs> so, do you feel yes, about carry on about our day? Okay, you break for lunch. Mm. Um, you do some more. So, uh, at this point, uh, you notice that there are a lot more gentlemen in the room now, uh, like at like lunchtime. They're all wearing like the red arbite coats, <laughs> like the high bite, high arbite coats. In the middle of the room is what looks like. Um, they're so like silver packets about this big, okay? And there are a block about a hundred of them. <coughs> All right? And they go to the girls, strip down to your underwear, sit around the table. All of us? Yes. Okay. okay. I'm going to oh. wait for other people to start doing it first, and then I'm like, okay, this is a normal thing. Yeah. Do it. If everyone's like... So they, what they do is they all strip down to underwear, but all of them put on a blue pair of like well it's like gloves mm. and a mask, sit around the table. Okay. Two by two my hands are blue. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so they've got nowhere to hide their uh, drugs and the kill. Mm-hmm. So then they they basically everyone like leans forward, undoes a packet, it looks like a weird gelatinous bar. Then they break it in half and pull the drugs out from the middle of it, mm. which yeah. is the white powder. Then I'll start copying them. Yeah. And then the rest of it they put like into a bucket on the ground, and then this they basically um, like put on the side of what they're all doing currently. Yeah. What a waste of food rations. Um, can I? What would it be to do it really quickly? Um. Hmm. Uh, swipe hand. Trade. Mm. Drug trafficking. <coughs> <coughs> um, so doing things fairly quick with your hands is normally swipe hand. Ooh. Here's mm. also another one. Can I use? Can I do a logic roll to think of the quickest possible way of going through as many of those as possible? Because. <coughs> Obviously, <coughs> opening them, breaking them, taking one out, that takes time. Mm-hmm. Whereas if I can think of a faster way of doing it, well, yeah, you that will help me pick up yeah, speed. Yeah. Okay. Plus, I have logic. <laughs> more efficient, it's like, ah. And, normally, and, mm. and, mo- and most drug dealers, when they have uh, people repackaging drugs, they'll often have everyone working naked so they can't smuggle any out. Yeah. Mm. Or in their underwear. Yes, well, that's why I'm oh, yeah. in their underwear. Yeah. Um, any bonuses or flat? Uh, and fine. anyone who steals things gets cut up. Uh, that's cocked. Just check that. Yep. Fuck. Fuck it. Ooh, give me them fake points. Mm. Damn no. it. Sustain me. No, <coughs> no, fuck it. No. <coughs> yeah, you're going about as fast as some of the other girls. Uh, no faster, no slower though. 
<laughs> shame, <laughs> shame. Place, the buckets start getting full. Basically, some of the guys around the outside are picking up the ones that had just all of the food in them. They're taking them off around the back of the kitchen. Then put ah, a fresh bucket down. That's what we're eating. <laughs> Woo. Oh. We eat the food that the dogs come in. It makes sense. Mm. Waste not, want not. True. Mm-hmm. With her giant black peoples. That's why it tastes so good. <laughs> That's why it's so damn tasty. <laughs> oh, addicted. It's addictively so, yeah. tasty. <coughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Right. So, <coughs> Devilishly have... Moorish. So, three of you got to your lunchtime. Oh, time. Just Great. Hand stop. Uh, are you going to be using mm. one of your food coupons to get food from the canteen? Yes. No. I brought lunch. <coughs> I'm going to use one of my food coupons because, you know, I'm up. <coughs> so I ate this morning, so no. Okay. Are you going to take your lunch break and sit in the canteen? Or yes. Anything? I'll sit. Yeah, I, 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 I'll sit there and um, sort of contemplate. Okay. Can you give me an awareness test plus thirty, please? I take it I still have my shadow. Yes. Oh yes. Double O seven. Double O seven. Okay. So as you look around the room, basically, so normally you just find the quickest seat to sit down and eat to keep your head down. Now you're like, I want to look for somewhere just to sit out of the way, take a quiet moment. In like the furthest corner up against the wall, you see a number of men and women mm-hmm. who are dressed, and you can see like more of their equilias. They've got the um, not the rosary beads, like you know, like yeah, rosaries, one. yeah, yeah. And they they all seem like they're in like um, they're all praying Ooh, together in a prayer corner. circle. That seems good. <laughs> I'll go there and join them. So you have one of them that's standing up, that's holding like a uh, data slate, and he's mm. reading out like a, a sermon at lunchtime, and the rest of them are like, you know, and praise us, or they're answering at certain points during the thing. Um, as you come across, they uh, some of them give you a nod and they shuffle to give you space yep. to sit down. <laughs> and they look at your shadow. There ain't enough space for that man. He sits on the table like the other side of you. Mm. So, yeah. And then the the guy is like, he, he, he does the speech and then he gets like a round of applause and they're all they're all like emperor be praised. He goes, welcome brother. We always welcome any faces wishing to accept the light and the everyday praising of the emperor. Thank you. Do you have a favorite prayer or sermon? Uh, if not, I can continue in the way that I have been. Yeah, it's the one that's on my back. <coughs> Look at it. You can read it if you did. <laughs> you would. My prayers are always the same. <coughs> always for redemption. As is the way we all should be. We should always be striving for forgiveness for what we do. One of the women that's to the left of you goes, I, I wish to say one today. And she steps up and she is reciting a, a sermon or a segment from, from memory. And the rest of them are all diligently listening to her or murmuring along, you know, just together in the circles. Mm. It's, it's, good to, it's good that there is some faith in this place. Most more Commonwealths, this is the kind of thing you normally see every lunchtime, but this place is like the smallest section in the corner. Mm. Terrible, really. Everyone's ah. too tired. <laughs> you get your food? Mm. Tasty. Actual food! <laughs> well, Slots. ish. <laughs> Protein gruel. <sighs> Protein gruel. Yeah, it's in my head. I'm like, it's fine. I'm gonna earn some more later. <laughs> While you're seeing and eating it, right? The problem you've got is that you can smell how food block and it smells amazing. And then this is like you're like you're always like ruining it's your fucking food. slop. <laughs> it sounds really bad. But you know when you smell something, you're eating something. You're like, I don't like it. Look, it's like when you're going on your diet and you'll be eating it. your health food, and I'll be eating my chips. <laughs> That's what it's like. All right? Give me your chips. <laughs> <laughs> That he shall waft in your face before slapping you with a chip. Well, no, it's fine. I'm just going to trick my senses by, you know, as I'm going. <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like turkey dinner, turkey dinner, turkey dinner. Not cooked for it, man. <laughs> 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 The, the two of you give me an awareness. Plus 30, please. Woo! Plus 10. <laughs> I said plus 30, damn it. Well, for me, it's plus 10. Yeah, no, plus and I'm now. not spending another fate point this early. That's fine. I've, no, I've failed you by four degrees. Low. One degree of success. Okay. 
fine. And this one so I saw out it. Out of the corner of your eye, there is uh, a guy. He looks very short, very sickly, very gaunt face. He's got red ringed eyes, and he's completely bald, very pale. And uh, he has a data slide, and he's furiously typing, but he keeps glancing up at you and writing something, and glancing and looking at you, and then writing something on his data slate. Is he only looking at us? Uh, with your one degree, yes, it looks like he's just looking at the two of you. So you stop, and then you look again, and it's been about ten minutes, and he's still just looking at the two of you and writing. Okay. Slide on over. What's up, bub? What's your tippy tapping? Mm. How far away from us is it? Two tables over. Okay. Is it loud enough that it's difficult to hear from where he is? Yeah, he yeah. can't hear you. Okay, that idea, that one there. Um. Is he sat at a table or is he stood up? He sat at a table. Hmm. Um, are there other people with data slates around? A few. Just... These are the low tech ones, the ones that are like jimmy together. Hmm. Is his the same? Yes. So, honey, there's a man staring at us with his data slate. You can get a reroll oh. on your awareness. Uh, plus 40. Are you kind of glancing or giving him an indication of where to look? Um, I'm, I'm giving sort of a... Holy shit! He rolled a one. Yeah, I rolled a oh, one. All right. Critical success! <sighs> he, he couldn't have rolled better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, someone's staring at us. And any visual clue I've given him, he's picked up on and fucking zoned in. Okay. Yeah, literally, I've just got to go... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you stand and you look across to the man. As you're doing something, he shifts and you notice that he has a hollow uh, tattoo on the back of his neck, like here, behind his ear, mm. here. A, ho um, a hollow tattoo. Uh, they're like the, the Luma ones, they're like the low-tech versions of tattoos I explained about the last oh. one, that burn into your skin with acid. The and shittier version <coughs> of yours. Any particular symbol? Uh, it's the same symbol you've seen of the Fight Club from yesterday, that was on the door. It's like, ah, mm -hmm. it's like, hmm. he's got a Fight Club sim symbol on his, on his neck. Mm. Oh, so I don't have to get him. Hopefully not. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> <laughs> says from nowhere. <coughs> Probably because we're new. Okay. I have to keep an eye out and see wanna, if he's still there. Oh. Want to go and <laughs> say hi? Yeah, say hi. Maybe say give hi. him the inclination that we can see him. Ask what he's doing. Maybe. Yeah, I'm up for it. You're up for it. Oh, no, okay, I'll wait here and wave back. sarcastically. What up, friend? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll let you go. Yeah, you're, you're bigger than me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also not subtle. I didn't ask for subtle. <clears throat> Come on, honey, do it for me. <laughs> I, I pick up, <laughs> yeah, I pick up my, my slop. <laughs> Yeah. And you know, I start you know, I get up and start walking to still eating. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. You missed out on a major opportunity of getting yourself one of those bars. Could you go I will for one of the food bars? Yeah, but then I then I said you will, because it's your fucking job. <laughs> Have a food bar. <laughs> a gentleman of war. <coughs> a lick. <laughs> Would you like a lick of my flavour bar? <laughs> a direct sniff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> so yeah. you, you walk over here and you go... Yeah, and, and, and go... And, you know, um, because I take it there's just like chairs just around around the table or... Um, think of it like a uh, school canteen so they have long tables <coughs> and long benches that you have to like step into them instead of some chairs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you cool. just drop your food next to him? Just like... Well, yeah, pretty much. I just put it on the table. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, put it on the table. I'm just uh, it's like it's a seat taken. I got sit down anyway. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> you know that sort of yeah, level of dick. <laughs> he's like looking at you like. Yeah, sorry. He's like, no, you're closer. He has like huge, pure black eye, like pupils. He doesn't like uh, doesn't got an eye color, just black. Damn, that's creepy. <laughs> he doesn't blink, but I don't blink. But he just doesn't blink. He's just looking at you. No, no, I could just imagine like the pure, the pure black eyes. 
Yeah, I was like, couldn't help n- notice your uh, staring at me and my wife. I assume when he mentions wife, he sort of looks yeah, over to her. Yeah, no, like, so he, he looks at you and then he goes. I, 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 saw, I sort of mm-hmm. wave. And then he looks back. Yes. Why? Oh. Look that for no good, try and do it. <clears throat> Your job for who? My master. Stop it! <clears throat> That's not helping! Time to keep his assets safe. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <sighs> Mm. Actually, wait. Did we get a? We didn't get a name, need a name or anything like that about who runs the fight club, uh-uh. did we? No. <laughs> nope. Yeah, so. so like, I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna try and play dumb. Play. <laughs> play. Yeah. I'm sorry. Pull back. Okay. Um. Do something different when you're awake. <laughs> Okay, how, yeah. okay, how, no, no, have I met your master? No, but he has watched you. Watched your spectacular friend. He had glances behind him, um, like staring at another table. You'd have to do another awareness to see where he was looking at. Let's, let's see if I can see what he's looking at. Uh, again, it's a plus 30 because he's looked in that direction. So. Come on, 47. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with no. And you suck. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna you know, I'm suck. gonna need my fate points later. Uh-huh. Probably. No. <sighs> Save it for later, Jack. Yeah, that's right. So I'm just gonna go my friend. Yes. From last night. Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend that you know, pretend I know exactly who you're you referring to. I <laughs> my master likes his fighting style. Likes his He's interested to see where you will go. Ah. Thinks you'll make him a lot of money. He protects his assets. I am here to keep you safe. I am here to smell your wife. Kid, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna cut a bitch. You're like a, a bit of uh, Silence of the Lambs. I can smell your cunt. <laughs> yeah, like, so That's right, I'm gonna turn his dick into one. notes on that <laughs> data slate of yours, is that... What's that for? I'm gonna stab you a cut and then fuck you. You want me to like points? Can't be very interesting, just having lunch. Yes. <laughs> I am to check that you are fully. You are. Nourished. Today, fully nourished. That you feed them and you look after yourself. Otherwise, I will help you. Hmm. He smiles with a really unnerving smile at the phrase, help you. Mm. Also known as, hold mouth open. <laughs> Mate, I don't want what he's shoveling. No. Mm. So, well, this has been a good chat. <laughs> See you around. <laughs> you know, as I, um, yes. tap, as I tap him on the shoulder, you know, like an old friendly, <laughs> friendly thing and um sort of maybe regret what I did but you know as soon as you touch him he's like like albino white skin you can see like the red hamper from where you just touched him so mate his capillary so. refill is shit <laughs> oh no it's a privilege I'll um I'll go back to my wife probably come from some people yeah. that have been like living for generations <laughs> and, like, get up and start moving back to you <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, when yeah, when, when my when you can no longer see see my face, I'm just like creepy. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> if you don't eat, I get to stab you with needles. <laughs> I'm gonna have a new set of skin luggage. <laughs> <laughs> see, if I knew a bit gonna be watched after I sat oh. back down, I would you know would do something very different. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> think of the smell. You didn't think of the smell, you bitch. <laughs> okay, so um, he sits down next to you. He, you know him well enough that he looks a bit unnerved, but he's covering it up currently. Ah, uh, feeling. <laughs> Creepy as he looks, then. 
Yes. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, but apparently he's here, you know, to well protect us. His master, which I'm going to assume it's the guy from the Fight Club that runs it, maybe keeps keeping an eye, an eye on us, make sure we're safe, and he's making notes on us. Well, that's probably good in a creepy kind of way. <laughs> Just rest safe in the knowledge that only one of the two of us has been inside you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you bring that up again. <laughs> <laughs> I, am pray- yeah. I am praying for purpose. I hope we get our mission soon so I can, so I have direction for my fury. Yeah. He yeah. seems to have great inter- um, interest, with, you know, with um, in, um, our other, you know, other friend. Well, he is. Uh, Absolute religious whack job who kicked the shit out of someone on his first night in a fight club. Mm. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. So I'm not sure if this level of um, notice uh. is good. Might be a double edged, yeah, a double edged sword. Uh, probably the other way because they're going to look after us and help us make our time here easier. Mm. It's good to have the notice of people. As long as we don't do anything stupid, <laughs> piss them off, we'll be fine. <coughs> oh my Sorry. god, die quietly. No, fuck you. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> lame. Go eat like, corpse starch. They need to stop kissing your work. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, no, it's all these PDAs, man. Yeah, yeah also, no. I do what I want. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck this dab I was half expecting you to stick your tongue down his throat. Okay, so, yeah. uh, lunchtime finishes and you go back <laughs> to your work. As you're going, the brothers and the sisters around you, they all like uh, clasp hands one another and um, pray for uh, <coughs> another day of proving their worth to the Emperor. Mm-hmm. And tell you that you are welcome anytime. Thank you. Well, they tell you what time the sermon is in the chapel. So the chapel is actually nine o'clock every uh, evening. Mm. Is when they do like the big sermons. Oh, oh good, because the, the, the fight's always late, so that's fine. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you just haven't had the time you've gone. You've not gone for like mm. the full service time, but mm. to know you know what time it is. Yes. Yeah, okay. So you go back down to work. Things are going fine. Uh, so halfway through the afternoon shift, uh, can the two of you roll me an awareness plus thirty? Woo! Fast. Fuck's sake, it's going to up at 69. Oh, 69. <laughs> nice. It's still a fail. Yeah. You failed with a 69. Yeah, a sexy that's, fail. Mm. Uh, that's yeah. three degrees of failure. I needed a 44. Yeah. I rolled a fucking 44. Nice. So I just pass. Okay, so but it's still a degree. Excuse me. That's true. It's still a degree because it's a pass. Yep. So uh, you um, are working, uh, and then suddenly you hear like, Captain um, Oblivious over like here. A, a, a noise behind <coughs> you, like a. So as you turn around, um, there is uh, the guy that you saw before, but he has got red stained hands. Okay, so I'll, I'll turn around and be like, "What up, creepster?" Hi, the why? The man who's going to report you. <laughs> I fix it. I want you to be happy. <laughs> you Did you clean up friend. after yourself? Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't see this. <laughs> no, I mean, like, yeah, did you, like, properly clean up rather than just this oh, tongue no, bath no. that's that's not that's not clean <laughs> no no it's fine he fell into the machines the cleaners are here they'll get him out of the cogs accidents happen <laughs> that's not going to make this all bloody and disgusting is it no he's oh, further down the line <coughs> okay well that that's fine I'd, I'd really rather not deal with bloody grease no 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 one will disturb you anymore Flower. You don't get to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just lost your talking privileges. <laughs> no more noise. <laughs> no noise for your mouth. No more talking. <laughs> the way you should then like scuttles up. 
Yes, uh, Inquisitor, oh. uh, welding a virus, <laughs> welding a virus, <laughs> just bombard the planet. <laughs> yes, I have to be lost. Yeah. What we don't realise is him failing is him failing to realise he now has blood on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like do 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 do. He's just like screwing something in and then like gets home. He's like, why are my hands bloody? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, when did I cut myself? Also, mm. you have pink worms. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oh, isn't he lovely in a <coughs> creepy, want to shoot shoot him in a dark alley sort of can way? We keep, <laughs> can we keep him? <laughs> <laughs> can yeah. we good target practice? So yeah, so, uh, so for you, nothing more eventful happens with your afternoon. Your shadow is still there. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, nothing has happened that's required you to have to do anything else, really. So you just stand into attention more. <coughs> well, I'm going to return to my... After, after the shift ends, mm-hmm. I'm going to return to my... Um, Return to my bunk. Mm-hmm. Uh, eat, uh, eat a fruit. Eat, eat a uh, yeah. Eat a meal. Yeah. Since I have a hard night ahead of me. Yeah. Get a, um, set set an alarm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can have a little rest before going to, before going to church. Mm-hmm. And then be off. And find these two and make sure they're going to be at the fight. Okay, that's fine. I will let you have your little rest and I'll come back to you in a moment. Then. Okay, I want to try and recover my fatigue. Okay. <coughs> Alright, you end your shift. <clears throat> um, cool. So go back yeah. to the hub block to take a fucking over. <laughs> yeah, and get yeah. changed into something a bit <coughs> more comfortable. Okay. Yep. So you get changed into something more comfortable. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. Mm, do I you know do I, do I go for shorts or do I actually go for some you know, something more trouser like today, I'm not sure. Go for something that gives an air of not being a bitch. <laughs> Nothing. Like the dress. Because <laughs> I think tonight's probably going to be a good time to not look like a bitch. <laughs> Fine. But, but does he look like a bitch? <laughs> yes, Always. That's the problem. Um, <clears throat> so you probably have about two hours into the fight pop sucks. Yeah. Uh, is, is there yeah. There's like, a, like a good old wife beater? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get my head down for some, for some kip. <laughs> The amount of kit we'll get is going to be severely reduced at the moment, but looks of things, so. Okay. Oh, wait, you haven't told him about the dude with that screen. Oh, I don't want you to know this funny after me. Did you see him later? Oh, just just wait. <laughs> hey, so she's getting some kit. Are you doing the same thing? Is that when, yeah, see her doing that, I was like, mm, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Considering, you know, we have got back, you know, um, like last night at, well. Very late. Yeah, very late. Late o'clock. Yeah. About two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Then you got to start work at seven. So. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll lie down for a bit for me in real life. Okay. Right, so the two of you have been pulling drugs out of food blocks. Mm-hmm. Okay, Woo! so you probably dealt with like, like <laughs> about a hundred or so now. <laughs> it's just this weird feeling because it's like under your fingernails and <clears throat> stuck to your hand because it's almost like gloop stuff. <laughs> all of the drugs are in like sort of almost like uh, like cling film wrap bags. Mm-hmm. So once all the the food is on the way, they basically everyone pushes the parcel forward and then brings out like kind of like old fashioned scales. You know the ones that have like the little weights on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and you're starting to basically people are then opening them and then moving them into these little bottles, but they're all being pre measured. Mm-hmm. <coughs> now at this point, the gentlemen that are around are now much more closely watching everyone. Mm-hmm. So we don't. Have fun with some of that product. Yeah, basically, because you've now brought it given a knife so that you can open the product and start putting them mm-hmm. and weighing them. So, to do this, so first one round again, it's reading a scale, doing it for the correct one. It is a logic test plus 30. So, plus 10. It's a mini for you. <coughs> Mm, I rolled a 61, so that's only two degrees of success. <coughs> so, for you, you basically. 69, but no. No, what you do is you get the bottle, you measure how much the bottle is, then when you start measuring the drugs you know how much you need to put into the bottle. Mm-hmm. So it makes your way mm-hmm. much Chopping easier for you. That's a fail. Yeah. Do I see her struggling? How many degrees failing with it? Two. Okay, so what you're doing right is basically you get the bottle, you get the drugs and then you just sort of like go like that, blitz the top, then it goes everywhere and then you're like putting it back into a pile, trying to get it even, not getting it yeah. everywhere and starting again. You need exactly this much weight to make sure that that perfectly fits inside the bottle. As I carry on, weigh exactly the amount, pour it in. Wait, the scales? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I weigh it with my mind. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, plus 14. Because you didn't even tell what happened to it. Yes! Nice. Four degrees. You're like, oh, wait, like, oh, that oh. makes sense. Oh, dear, fuck now. I was like, oh. Oh, I'll take that one off. Okay, got it. Okay, and then now you're figuring out why you're wearing masks, even if they're, they're like the crappy paper ones, and gloves for what you're doing. It's mm-hmm. going everywhere. Yeah. Just. It's cocaine, but it's, it's Novocaine. Well, it's Novocaine, but. I <laughs> when the girls aren't looking. Free <laughs> 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 sample! <laughs> Mate, I'm gonna work so much quicker now! Okay, can the two of you give me an awareness plus 20 check, please? I'd imagine it'll be much higher if you took the drugs. So I don't no. think I would. Five degrees. Pass. Ooh. Okay, so you see a girl free over from your left. Uh, is Lily on your left or right, or you guys actually quite. Like this. Okay, so, so probably. Th- so four running. from your left, three from yours. Right. Mm-hmm. What she's doing is one of the bustles she has moved, so it's in between her cleavage and the bra. Mm-hmm. But she did it with very, like, sleight of hand, like she's alive. getting something off and she's put it in. But what you've seen is that one of the guards has clocked her doing it. So. It's like, oh! I spilled some <laughs> all over my <laughs> supple bosom. <laughs> so something happened. Uh, Sturridge has now come downstairs. It's been a couple of hours. He's gone back down with the girl. That girl looks black, blue, but she has a smug smile on her face. Mm. Like she's happy to be that way. So she's then gone over to one of the benches. Massive. What she's doing is she's got a drink and she's just lying down on the bench for a minute. <coughs> and he's just left her to it and he's picked up a thing. He's leaned across the bar, poured himself a drink and he's having a drink and turned over, leaning against the bar to watch the scene ahead. One of the guards has very subtly made their way over to go some to him, and then what they've done is he's done it, so he's facing, to, so just is facing out from the bar. Mm-hmm. The guy's gone across to lean on his shoulder facing this way, so you can't see what he's saying to him. Right. And so just has gone, mm-hmm. then he's glanced at the girl, and then his face has gone from like very calm to almost pink. They're like, oh no, something bad is gonna happen. Oh well, this is the night the bitches die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that bitch. It ain't my problem. No, it's, 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 it's like congratulations, you've problem. won first prize. In what? Come to collect your prize. So, so they're having a conversation. Storage is just like he's the way he's done a lap around the table. Then he's got to where she is and he's grabbed her by the back of her hair and dragged her backwards. Right, reach right down to so his her, pulled out the drugs, <coughs> looked at her, and then it's thrown her and gone. You're no longer under my protection. Guards, deal with her. And then she's gone, no, no, please, no, please. And then she's getting like dragged out of the tavern. The entire time this is happening, I'm just carrying on, just not paying attention. Yeah, not my circus, yeah. not my monkeys. Some of the not girls are like problem. worried and glancing, but some of them are just like, mm-hmm. not my problem. Busy, 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 busy. And then you hear like screams and lots of bangs, and then finally you hear a single gunshot. Not uh, my squirrel, not my nuts. Yeah. Mental note that he has had what I believe is two people very either dead or seriously injured. Drug smuggling, prostitution, extortion. He's getting fucked. <laughs> yeah, once we let off the leash, it's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. His minimum <coughs> sentence for any of those is death. Death. So, let's well, yeah, let's see. Mega death. death. Yeah, but, um, yeah but, the oh. are, but it's not the Inquisition's job to deal with uh, drug dealers. We'll pay for something bigger. Yeah, but, but if I can happen I... to shoot him on the oh, way... Yeah, that's no. collateral damage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There so, is going to be some. Uh, so this was obviously to these guys. So you've so been taking the next six hours and you have done up all the drugs and they've all disappeared off somewhere and then you've all been made to basically strip into a group shower and thoroughly scrub. But there is, um, like, uh, the twins are watching that. There aren't men watching you shower. Mm. You basically that would cost like, extra. <laughs> yeah, so basically you're, like, being, you're like, being told to like thoroughly wash after that just in case. Yeah, because if there's any still on our body... Yep. Scrub that booty. Yeah. And then we'll get told to get ready for the evening shift. Cool. And now we're all at the same point. Mm. They're sleeping today. You guys are getting Time ready. lines. So I'm after I wake from my <coughs> nap, I'll go to the evening service. Yeah. Then it's on the fight club. Okay. 
Okay. Right. It's okay, so. Bring the noise. Uh, Bring two of you wake up and you head down to Fight Club unless you're doing something else. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, yeah. No, Fight Club it is. Maybe, we should, get, maybe we should get tattoos on my, on my knuckles. Des and Troy! <laughs> <laughs> because together <laughs> they, they destroy, destroy my enemies. Love it. So you can head down to the same location. Yep. Uh, your shadow is still following you. He's now being far less stealthy since you know he's there. <coughs> yeah. Oh god, ours is going to be again. far less. <laughs> Once we get our orders, he's going to have to die. Hmm? He's going to have to die. Yeah? Yeah. That's alright. Just, he, just, he doesn't know his fate yet, but it's going to happen. I mean, I told him he didn't like being followed. <laughs> you know, he doesn't listen. Okay, so you get to the door. As you get there, you knock, the little shutter opens. Yes. Okay. Okay, the door opens and down the stairs you go. I thought you said dickhead. <laughs> Sorry, dickhead, you may come through. <laughs> so as you I mean, walk, you're not wrong. So as you walk down the stairs, this time you hear there's quite a larger crowd than the night before. I wonder why. They've probably been bigging up. You know, Word's got a new fighter. I'm, I'm, I'm not that great. That's the scary thing. Religion man! Um, so as you walk down, you can see this the kind redeem, of the far, redeemer. More, far more like or people around like the outside. There are more like food <laughs> vendors and stuff. There's quite a large crowd down here. It seems like Word's got out. There's going to be a good fight tonight. Uh, mm. Now, uh, if I have an awareness check plus 30 for the two of you, you oh. there to just before you are. Fuck's sake, I see nothing. Okay. I failed by no. multiple degrees. Yeah. So I rolled a down, 96. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> you walk down the stairs, so uh, you walk up and suddenly uh, your little follows there. Oh, fucking hell, you put out of nowhere. Hiding any more bodies? Not today. That's a lie. It was today you hid one. I don't know. Irrelevant. I still told you not to talk. Uh, I have to. No, you don't. The master says I must take you to the tent. Tent. We, we, yeah, yeah, the yeah, tent right. they have is the changing room. Ah. Oh. Now you can stop talking then. <laughs> he nods enthusiastically and he's like, "You see, with I, 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 I point <coughs> to the weird guy and gesture to the big guy." Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so you get to that. So downstairs, so you get to the door. Yep. So just a, they were just ahead of you. All right. right. You knock on the door. The open thing. Yes. Decay. The door opens. Uh, so you step in. The dude is right behind you. Just walks in with you. Uh, and you walk down the stairs. You roll me in a way to check plus thirty. Come on, one of us is gonna pass. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, plus thirty. Uh, You've got a lot of faith perception. in failures. I've got a lot, lot of faith in faith, man. Okay. Well, actually, no, sorry, no, sorry, one because like one a bit, yeah, one degree of success. Okay, so uh, so as you come in this time. You see that before, like there is um, in the ceiling, there's like a large box <coughs> that is now raised out. It's got a like, glass all the way through it, uh, which wasn't there this before. So it looks like there's now somebody much higher up is now watching this fight. The tent that you saw before, there was like the main tent. Now there's a huge other tent next to it. There are far more people, uh, uh, far more referees, but like the taking the bats, much more no. food vendors. No, no one will recognise me coming through, so that's fine. Yeah. So you walk down the thing mm. uh, onto where the arena is. Oh. <coughs> and I've, I've, I've made myself a costume. <coughs> oh, oh, God. Yes. yes. Thief man. No, 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 no. I've just made... Hang on. Uh, Jesus boy? <laughs> well, no, because uh. they're, 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 they're mostly fighting, fighting naked, aren't they? Yeah. So I've just made myself a hood. <laughs> <laughs> a hood and a pouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a sock. There's nothing in the pouch. You know, he's gilded, but... Yeah. <laughs> they don't know that. Yeah, there's... What's in the pouch? My former bits. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, what's in the pouch? My mother's rib. <laughs> yeah, well, no, well, no basically, it's just, it's just a, um, a red penitence hood, so it's got a bit of a point on it. Um, as is traditional with uh, with Spanish penitence. The Kivu of Spans stole that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's, just a, it's, it's almost like a redemptionist, you know, cultist's hood. If you put it on the yeah, yeah, No, no, that's going to be when I get in. Okay. So you get to where the arena is, and mm-hmm. you see these two um, following this strange, pale, hunched over, bold man that's like mm-hmm. gesturing them toward one of the tents. Um, Seemingly so making no noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you follow after them, or are you going to stay I down follow. here? Oh, no, I follow them. Okay, so you go up, you, um, he opens the flap of the tent and like, gestures you in. 
Mm. Um, so inside you see like there's quite a number of people, men and women. They look like they're getting ready for the fight. Uh, different of them are in like different garbs or like taking different parts. And then there's a whole other section which looks like the medical section. So you can see like medical <coughs> tables, various equipment and bits and pieces. People in like hat doctors coats and stuff like that in the corner. There's about three like of them. Bandana. Yeah. Uh, he goes. I'm going that way. Um, <laughs> and I start walking over to where the. Uh, okay, as soon as he goes. Medical. She said I'm going to talk to her. So, are you watching, fighting, or are you going to try and earn extra ouches? What are you doing? Hmm. My master did not specify your role in this. No, I've been. Un- I was undecided at first. How about. I call back over while he's thinking. Wash up if he touches you. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. I would be so privileged to touch you. Mm. I think I'm going to fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> My master will be pleased to hear this. Yeah, come, come. Good. Take a bench. Get ready. Yeah, is that all right? Well, I'm wearing my vest and you know, my shorts. Pretty much it. <laughs> so you're not going in naked. Okay. Uh, well, but is it really classed as armor if you wear you know vest and shorts? Uh, the ref will come. The referee will see you in a moment. I must go. And then he lights all that scampers off somewhere. Yes, yeah, put <laughs> like that. away. Let, let's point ah. ah. Let's point okay. Although I'm just like. Naked. Hmm. Okay, so you walk into the tent. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you walk in, you see uh, Alex is by the medical section, uh, and that uh, Carpath has got one of the, the fighting benches, and you see he's taking stuff off, and he looks like he's getting ready to fight with a couple of other men and women in this area. As you walk over, uh, you see that there is an empty bench. Mm-hmm. Short there, probably where you take a perch. Yeah, <coughs> same as last night. Who, who are you asking? Oh, the fight. Oh, who, uh, who the organizer was that I spoke to last time? He's, He's not there. So right. Just the fighters there. Okay. Uh, a large, dark-skinned <coughs> gentleman follows um, Andrew Nitchin. He's like oh. huge and built. So. He walks in and then he just stands by the tent flap. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll put. <coughs> I'll put. I'll, I'll put my mask on. I'll take take my just take my, my jacket off for now. Start getting ready. I, I take it his tattoos are pretty much unmistakable yeah. next to everyone else that's kicking yes. around. Yeah. 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 It's like, oh, you spent some money on your tattoos. No, <laughs> no I haven't. No, I These know are, you haven't. Yeah. But they you know, were, that's what people have generally yeah. get a thing. Yeah. Um, so you're you're taking, done. Did you take you're taking your jacket off? So yeah. They're, they're on show. Yeah. Uh, so you get an awareness plus forty. You get an awareness plus thirty. <coughs> you get an awareness plus thirty. <coughs> yeah, these are all, all either done in Inquisition <coughs> or, or on the ship. These are all the, yeah. These are sailor. Vo- these are void sailor tats. I fell by a degree. Yeah, I fell by a degree. It's four points, but it's still a degree. Okay, right. Cool. Uh, anyway. Fuck! <laughs> you didn't see any. At this rate, I'm going to get in the ring, and it's like, where's my opponent? No, Something hitting me in the there's, face. There's nothing for us to see. There's clearly nothing okay. going on. So, um, the gentleman that's blocking the tent flap, he takes a step in. A gentleman comes in. He's wearing a three piece suit. Oh. He looks very out of place here. And as he's walking in, he is drinking <coughs> his nose, almost in disgust of the place going on. He walks up to the people there and goes, Ladies, gentlemen, I'm looking forward to the performance you're about to give. It goes by standard rules. You can go in wearing nothing, no weapons, and you start at no disadvantage. Any item of clothing you wear is a minus one food voucher. If you are wanting to go in with a basic weapon, that's minus two. I will also put you up on bonuses if you choose to take on extra pieces to make your fight more entertaining. One of the guys goes, what extra pieces are you talking about, mate? He goes, well, if you were to go in with um, the barbed wire treatment, or you risk it with a fistful of glass. Crowd loves some seeing some blood. I'd be interested in uh, extra points for that. I have my own wire. I'll pull up my um. I, I keep forgetting the name of those things. Oh, uh, Sicker. Yeah. 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 Bought your own. Good man. 
I would definitely put you at advantage for taking the hint. The blood starts yeah. seeping through. See? This gentleman has the correct idea. You're here for entertainment. I want this fight minimum five minutes. Five minutes? That's a long time for a, for a uh, bare knuckle fight. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I know. The, if, if the, the, well, everyone looks at each other like that's like a thing. But I understand if you can't do that. If you can make it to five minutes before you beat your opponent into a pulp or double, whatever wager you're going to be receiving. Hmm. If you can't, you've got your standard wager. If the fight is over in less than a minute. Um, I'm trying to remember how ro- how long a round is. Mm. Is it two generally minutes. In, yeah, two minutes? Okay. So two and a half rounds. No, but I mean a, round, a game round. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> okay. we have to look it up, but it, it can't it can't it. be more than a few seconds. Yeah, really. well, abstracted probably. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because not not be funny. The actual <clears throat> unarmed fighting rules for two unarmed combatants doesn't work because you basically can't hurt each other, meaning mm. you can't do anything. Yeah. But yeah. you can't. You can't even deal enough to do fatigue. Is the problem? Yeah. So it becomes in in the new rule set. It becomes very difficult. Mm. So it's easier to do it on standard fighting rules. Mm. And uh, once you have won <coughs> two fights, you have the option to take part in a special round. The rules will be announced in the ring, and in this, you can earn triple your wager mm-hmm. if you can mm-hmm. last that long. <laughs> You know, I, th- there's been a couple of points where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna put, I'll open my mouth. No, 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 I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> okay, he points out and he goes, you and you, you two are going to be the first to fight. Uh, you're going to fight him, you'll be fighting her. And so, like, so you look across from what you see, you see a, a guy that um, he's got like blue tinged skin. Mm. He's got uh, like some disfigurements, he's quite a bulky guy. And he like, looks at you like very feral, like, you look across the woman, she doesn't mm-hmm. display anything on her face, she's quite a tank mm. woman, and she's like looking at you like, just a nod, nothing more. An upgrade. <laughs> so yeah, okay. And can I see the one that's pointed for him? Yes. Um, can I use a Medicaid roll mm-hmm. to attempt to look for any what look like weaknesses on him? Like, see if there's anything that looks like it's... Um, <coughs> So you can look for Medicaid for any pre-existing injuries. Yeah, uh, but it'd be a scrutiny for weaknesses. But I can pre-existing injuries. Yeah, like, allow from yeah, pre-existing injuries type thing. See if there's a thing yeah. like a what looks like a screwy back or yeah, something. Yeah, that's mm. Kick him in the balls. <laughs> but this one they're not 20. wearing quite a lot, so he's got she's got quite a good range oh. to look. Ah, actually, am I able to wear a mask? Or would that be against the? Ah, uh... uh, no, they're okay with that. You no, know I will use a fake point on that roll. I want to keep my anonymity. Nice. Yeah, take six degrees of success. Okay, so it looks like his knee's been reconstructed, his left knee. Mm-hmm. Um, and from the look of it, you think he's either got um, like the way that he was born or anything like that. He looks like he's got a problem with his spine. Um, and you think that if you were to get like a good point, like just below the rib cage on the back, you could probably <coughs> like almost paralyze him with a good punch. So which which knee was it? Left knee. So, before before I'm sort of accosted for whatever they want me to do for the medical side of things, or to get dressed up in something, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna come over and be like, "Good luck, honey." Ah, yeah, thanks. Hopefully, you don't get your face too smashed in. I'll, I'll I'll give him a hug and whisper in his ear, "Reconstructed left knee, uh, screwy spine." If you need any weak points, understood. I sort of let it go, tap tap on the shoulders. Good luck, and then I go back over to the medical bit. So yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna go. no kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so my opponent, big, uh, bigly built. Uh, any ta- any sort of tattoos like gang affiliation or? Uh, it looks like that they've got a series of numbers like um, mm. all down her left arm. Uh, mm. Could be prison numbers. Don't know. They look like they're like done like a different yeah. time. So this one looks like the most faded, <coughs> and this one looks the most recent. Hmm. Okay. I, I know you're a gun nut, not a fist fighter, so mm-hmm. you need all the help you can get, really. Mm. Okay. <coughs> so the series fine. I've got numbers are done as three, Sorry, it's fine. and then I've a got slash, and then and three, and then five. Ah, uh, okay. So I'll oh, say my D numbers. We got. Mm-hmm. So it could be. She could be. She's been passed around different owners. <coughs> 
You've got so many. Mm. <coughs> right. Perhaps not a good sign. <coughs> So from where you are, you hear like the sound of like a. <coughs> yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> what did they tie the announcer in a bag? <laughs> Sorry, all I was thinking of was. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, the 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 tent flap opens a bit, and we can hear is it's gonna be a fucking slobber knocker. And you hear screaming and cheering and. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Hang on. So, in the whole house. Yep. You guys have gone down to begin your evening. <laughs> yep. <coughs> uh, there so we're are gonna... a few more uh, of the high work. Well, excuse me, arbiters there around in the evening than there normally are. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are people who are buzz. Uh, as you go around to the table, um, more women are going straight off to go have a speak with customers and the rest of it. A lot of them were talking about how they're going to get extra business tonight because Sodas is not in a good mood. Right. Well, there isn't really, you know, a skill for slut. So. <laughs> uh, you've got charm. Mm, yeah, that's probably the closest mm-hmm. you're going to get. Cute. Yeah, but charm. You can, you can also use deceiving. Because you are losing your lying personality. Inti- intimidate. <laughs> fuck me now! Cute. <laughs> I'll fuck me and pay for it or I will fucking kill you. Stick it in and give me money. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my flirting technique. Which is the bad way? Your flirting <laughs> technique is a bit poor. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Get any bonuses? Uh, this deceive is a plus thirty because you're using your um charm. Uh, fate of the charm. Um, yeah, I'll give you a plus twenty. Flat pass. Okay. So one degree. Yeah. Right, so if you just go on up to somebody. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So you've gone up to somebody. You're in love. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Are you uh, looking for a good time? I think it's more you're looking for a good time. It depends what you're offering. Offering. I have a. Uh, a business thing I'm here for, and really I'm looking for some pretty phone to sit on my lap. Hopefully, to keep my business, the compatriot, busy, distracted, so I can get a good deal. Yeah. Well, if you want, I'll sit on more than just your lap. Well, let's see how the evening goes. Take a seat, love. He, he's suggesting dick, just to clarify. <laughs> penis! Oh, was that what it was? Oh. Oh, penis. So you sit down, uh, and he's having quite a nice civil conversation with you, waiting for his business partner to come in. Can I do a logic, ah, uh-uh, to know exactly what <coughs> to say to the person that would entice said yep, thing? If you give me a good enough logic roll, I'll give you extra bonuses to charm. Sweet. I rolled a nine. Mm. That is a good roll. Is it flat logic? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's the base five degrees of success. I am. Okay, I will give you uh, a charm plus 40 then. So, plus 20. <coughs> if you like, okay, right, this is how you say it. No, I just need to do it. Uh, <coughs> Sex, please, give money. <laughs> well, no, 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 it's just like, well. You know, okay, opening line. I'm so moist. <laughs> there you go. That's got him going. <laughs> I bet I remind so, you of your mother. So I'll have sex for money. <laughs> yes, yeah, so plus 40, you said. Yeah. So for me, that'd be plus 20. <coughs> I rolled a three. I had to get a 49, so that's four or five. 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 Five degrees of success. Okay. Nice. So you. Um, so from the off, as I walk down, I'm like, right. The best way to entice a gentleman would be <coughs> show off your assets. So wiggle your bum, shimmy your boobies. <laughs> it's what's going on in her head. Walks up. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, shimmy. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Walk, walks up. Bend Sucky and- fucky. When you get your drink, bend over the table <coughs> strategically I don't <laughs> to have entice oh the male God. pariah. I don't have me. Of- <laughs> <laughs> I am logicking the sluttage. Okay. 
So you, you pick a gentleman and you're like, okay, him. So you do all of the things to get to him and you have to deal with stuff with him. Uh, this gentleman is, um, he looks like he's been around for a while. He's got some chunks missing that's been replaced with parts of technology. Um, he's quite a stocky build um, with bits and pieces. Uh, you sit down next to him and uh, say, uh, nice to touch this one that in. What would you like to say? Is that a power tool in your pocket or are you just pleased to see me? Both. <laughs> <laughs> like, that metal's the only thing, not the only thing that's going to be hard tonight. I'm going to weigh your dick <laughs> down for a nub. <laughs> <laughs> saying, um, if you're looking for oh, company, oh. I'm looking for further it's and more in here. Mm. Ah, he goes, well now. Uh, Don't and get you the seat next Don't to him. Don't get your beard caught in the letterbox. box. See, I can't remember which movie it is, but you know when she uncrosses her legs and Basic, then... you're gonna basic instinct him. Yes. For fuck's sake. <laughs> and, fuck, and fucking flash your growler. Mm-hmm. Look between as my legs, look between my legs, now you're under. <laughs> as I lean on the bar, because I'm guessing he's at the bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as I lean on the bar so that my arm is under my boobs to accentuate. Hopefully he's not gelded and therefore immune to your vaginal uh, hypnosis. Doubt it. <laughs> Extreme womanly wiles. Yes, I'm sorry, love. You are beautiful and have everything in all of the right places, but I am not interested in such a service. What I will do, though, is my top lieutenant here to meet you in a moment. Maybe you'd be willing to do so for him. Of course. Wonderful. He looks slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> Killed it! <laughs> Sorry, love, you haven't got a big enough dick. Mate, your entire body's not as big as my boyfriend's dick. Gentlemen who uh, need to meet you this What's that? Maybe uh, send a good map my way. Of course, love. So a little time passes, he like is chatting with some of the people there quite cordially. Uh, a gentleman comes in who he is dressed, he's got a shirt and a waistcoat on, but he's got like cargo pants on which have like a gun very obviously on him <laughs> as he comes in and he's got like a rucksack on with bits in. He walks in, sits to your left because he's on the right, and then looks at you, looks at him and goes, <coughs> Boss, didn't realise you were indulging this evening. If it was, I would uh, call it the success of the century. And he goes, <laughs> very funny. No, I got it for you. And he goes, <gasps> for me? Oh, boss, you give the best tips. <laughs> uh, and then he says, he goes, fantastic, love. Go get me a drink, please. Of course. And he gets up, he slaps your ass. Mm-hmm. Roll me an awareness check, plus 13, to hear what he's saying. <laughs> if, you fail, you, if you fail, you can't hear over the clap of your cheeks. Hmm. Um, three degrees of success. Boom, clap um, the sound so of these lyrics. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> so the lieutenant goes, Look, boss, I know you normally take the, the line of master, but do you mind if I borrow it for one evening? And he goes, Whatever, you know I hate the title. Do as you must. Hmm. I, I'm so fat when, when, when I have sex, I slap my own ass and just let her ride the wave. <laughs> 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 Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you just a galaxy ripple then? <laughs> I love that we're playing dark heresy, but we just don't all filthy people. Yeah. Okay. So what's yeah. the website? Okay, so you're sitting in the <coughs> gentleman's lap, uh, gentleman comes in. This guy is just the epitome of what I would like to call sketchy. Sleazy. You know, like he comes in and he's got like one of those like high duster coats on, but like he's got like the thing where he's trying to look like better than he is, and he just doesn't look like it. Greasy one earring, fucker. Greasy black oh, hair. Try, you know. try hard. Wanker. <laughs> Sweaty wanker. Sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> wanker. Yeah. So he just walks in and he just almost like sleezes into his seat. And then he's talking to the guy, but the whole time he's staring at your rack. So are you gonna? <sighs> yeah, I will ta- um, tactically adjust myself. Okay. Do you want to make his eyes jiggle? <laughs> <laughs> make, his eyes right. make his eyes bulge. Make his eyes bulge. So the guy that's doing um, he's basically like going through and talking about um, the order of things going forward and um, stuff and new shipments coming in. 
and how certain things are very difficult to procure off world and even hard to smuggle back into this um, hive world, especially with the way that the administrorum is being. Um, and this person basically they're haggling about the percentage cuts um, <coughs> and agreed on the price of the price of the shipment by listening. And um, the the guy that you're sitting on wants thirty percent for bringing in everything, and he's saying ten. And he's like, "Do you know how incredibly difficult it is? I pay like get the spaceship, bring everything in, smuggle it in. I'm the one doing all of the hard work, and you want to you know cut my throat here." Uh, and as he's doing that, he's squeezing, like giving you like a squeeze. I'm like, not a hard one, but like, come on, use your boobs. And like the, come on, do math. <laughs> Slap him, in, slap him in the face of your tits. I will Just fuck you for the 30%. Oh, yeah. I want chocolate. Chocolate over everything. Right. So it's, it's the sleazy one that's been staring at my rack the entire time, isn't yep. it? Mm-hmm. Right, I'm going to move off of the guy I'm sat on. Mm-hmm. Go and sit on his lap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude. And then, you, and then you immediately slide off him because he's so greasy. Like, being that <laughs> close, you can fucking taste the grease. <coughs> you can smell the meo. <sighs> Yummy. Oh, come on, love. You can't really just take that much of a percentage. People got to make a living here, you know? Okay, what are you using? Charming? Charm. Charm. Okay. Charm. 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 Mm. Fucking just. Ooh. One degree? Yeah. Uh, he's like, I'm going to use my here. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I should think about the people and <laughs> the <laughs> hard living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, the other guy, so the other guy goes 30%. He goes 18. And then he goes 28. 22 and they basically round off to a good 25% which is what they shake hands on uh, and the the, bo- the bloke was there that goes from your chest and goes are you available this evening or has he already bought you for the time he's already paid for my time <sighs> shame <coughs> I have to come back another time so they sign something between them, and then this guy um, waits for you to get up. Leases out. Sleezes. Oozes out. <laughs> so I'll get up and go. Slithers. So I'll be here all week. Okay. So you go back to sit on the other guy, and he goes, you know, he said, you can sit down next to me if you'd like. Drink. Ugh. <laughs> 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 oh, so dirty. He, he goes, I don't envy you. I don't think I could be, you know, within the other side of this table to him, let alone that close. You've got to do what you got to do. True. But, you know, I have to deal with these people for a short amount of time. I couldn't imagine getting that in you. Uh, <laughs> it's 11. <coughs> it's all living. But either way, you've made me a great deal of money tonight. So here is... He puts five thrones on the table. Mm. Enjoy your Whoa. evening. That's walking around money. Damn. Fucking hell. You the bottom bitch. <laughs> you he, get, he gets that. He kisses you on the forehead, so right here on the head, and then walks out. What's with all the gilded people tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so, you ever need any more help with that? Feel free to come find me. I will. <laughs> 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 Yeah, quickly get it off the table before somebody else notices. Mm. Right. <coughs> Awareness. Mm-hmm. Did anyone notice him? How, no, how, not, did, pay, did people see him pay me? How many people saw how much he just paid me? Mm-hmm. Uh, any bonuses or is it just flip? This one, because you're doing the whole road, it's plus 20. Cool. Pass. Okay. So you look around the room, no one actually seems to have noticed this, because it's like, they're just giving payment and you just taking it, no one's noticed how much, how, how much money it was. Go. Cool. Huh? Good, good. good. You got paid three thrones? Yeah, I did. No, I got paid two. <laughs> I'm going to give half of that to the boss. Mm. You're so generous. Yeah, yeah, you got, you got to give the boss a cut. 
So you're sitting in for a bit. The lieutenant comes in, sits down, pulls you off the chair, sticks you on his lap. Mm-hmm. And the whole time he's like squeezing your thigh, grandma and ass. Mostly, like, he seems like he's talking with the people at the table. Like, if he says something funny and people slightly laugh, I'm going to do a proper little giggle. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And he's having a chat with the guy, and they're talking about percentages and cuts, and um, uh, protecting assets when necessary for these things going forward, uh, distracting um, from the main parts of things. Not really sure what they're discussing because they're talking kind of half in code, mm. half in like generalized terms. Like, so when they're talking about stuff, do they like, <clears throat> you know, say anything that I think sounds a bit not, yeah, like it wouldn't work, but they believe it would sort of thing? Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm um, saying something like what wrong or. Yeah, like, if we do this, then, <coughs> then this will happen, or something like that, where I'm like, mm, no, if you did that, then this would happen, but if you wanted the second outcome, this is the first choice. I can just, I can just imagine you turn around and say, actually, that's factually incorrect. <laughs> um, no, no, I'm going to do it in a, I'm dumb, but make them think that it's their idea sort of way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I yeah. keep doing that. So I'm like, that sounds really smart. A friend of mine once told me about, you know, and then tell them a story which. Yeah. We're going to say daddy. Daddy told me it's always a different daddy because you've mm. had lots of daddies. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Push and beyond. <laughs> daddy. And, uh, daddy. Cool. Slip in the uh, good idea <laughs> to him. So then he can say it and it makes it look like he's had the brilliant idea. Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, so <coughs> this is basically you on the table. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you sit on some other people's apps and you're having a conversation. They all seem more busy in the conversation they are. So they're probably going to go with other services later once their conversation is over. Louis! So, yeah, so, you, so obviously the gentleman is gone, you've got your money. Now you could slip off for the evening or you could go and work some more clients. What are you going to do? I will go and work some more clients. Slapless intensifies. Okay. Are you going to look around the room, see some available things, or are you going <coughs> to go for the first person that's on the road? I'm going to have a look around. Because to do with my plan from earlier. I'm going to watch for anyone that looks like they're about to try and start some trouble. Okay. Like either an argument with a with like bar staff or one of the girls for services friends at all. Mm-hmm. Anything of that nature. Someone who hasn't paid their dues. Yes. As soon as someone steps out, steps Ooh, out of line. Oh, roll. Mm. Oh, is that the second one that we've had this session? No, two, 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 two. Oh, it's a two. Bro. That dice. No. Oh, wrong die. Plus <laughs> twenty. Seven degrees of success. Nice. Okay. okay, so you see someone come in, and as they come in, loads of the girls look at him, and then immediately try and look busy so they don't have to serve him. He is again. He looks sketchy, but not sleazy. He's the kind of person that looks like maybe more mercenary kind of person. And the girls are like kind of avoiding him for some reason. Um, when you're looking around the room, you are noticing that there is a group table, which is where uh, Harris is, and she's talking to. And uh, two of the guys, while they're talking and she's not looking, are passing something underneath the table to each other. But they're always doing it on an opposite side to her. Stuff like that. Uh, and you'll see other things going around. So you'll see like drugs getting passed over the table, over the bar. These bottles are everywhere currently. Can I see roughly what was being passed into the table? Like, was it a bottle? Was it a stick? Like a like a data stick or it was a data paperwork? Stick. On the table, Leary's on. No, I'm Leary. Harris, Harris, Harris is on. Yeah. Multiple look personalities. At Looking at yourself like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's a mirror. I like chocolate. Okay. Down in 
31, 31, 31. Let's call him now while he can really, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My condolences. What's going to happen? You're going to die. Brits. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he actually heard your bit. It's funnier. Yep. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go and take a tray of drinks over to these guys. Okay. Yep. So you go around, cut the pass of drinks, you notice um, yeah. no mobile tray of drinks. The guy's taking them. Um, there is a guy there that looks like he's got some of his um, uh, flesh parts replaced by machine. But he doesn't look like a tech priest or a heretic. He looks like just one of those people that's just lost parts in like everyday service which has got replaced. He refuses any drink that you give him. Fair enough. Well, you're allowed to take one. To see if I can see Sturges and see where he's looking. Yes. Oh yeah. Any bonuses? Plus thirty. <laughs> so that's seven degrees of success. Uh, he is watching the mercenary type that's just come in. He's gone over. He's leaning right up against the girl and talking in her ear, and she's a bit <coughs> uncomfortable. And like occasionally like trying to give like a weak smile to him, but he's like right standing over her, overshadowing her. The soldier's just watching that currently. So the guy that just walked in. Mm-hmm. Okay. So <coughs> as, I'm, as I'm passing you a drink, mm-hmm. I sort of look towards the opposite side of you where they're handing stuff under the table. Mm. And just give it. Then I'm gonna go and See about this mercenary. <laughs> oh. Carouse. Alright, hang on then. So, um, you, uh, with the, so you talk, the medical team are talking to you and basically said they're going to have two people outside and two people inside. So the two people will do immediate care of the ring if needed and then bring someone out and then two people are going to stay here for like long term care. And they said, what, what kind of experience would you have? Which would be your preference? I could do either. What are you uh, shortest on? Uh, probably immediate care. The long term care we've got time, but if people are dying in the ring, that's the hardest point, really. Any tools? Uh, they uh, have like some kits. They look like they've tried to sterilize stuff, but they've gone for like you know like uh, boiling <coughs> sterilization. They don't have any other sterilization equipment. Okay, I'll I'll take a look at them and see. Have you got any recycled alcohol? Boil it in that works better. They go, we can request some, but we won't be able to get it today. No, well, f- for future sort of thing, keep a little bit on hand if you can for at least a good set. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll take some of what they've got and uh, head out, I guess. Okay. <coughs> so you walk Put on one of their coats can, if they've got one spare. They've got, yeah, they've got the white coats. So as you walk out, you can hear like the deafening sound of the crowd. You can try again to do an awareness plus 30. Come on, I believe in you, Cassis. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, degrees. Okay, <coughs> this angle as you're walking out, you can see that there's like a raised box and it's got like glass sides around the outside that wasn't here the last time you were here. The crowds are now huge, so they've got them like all up in the stands, all around the thing. There's like a little space around where people are placing bets and things currently. Uh, but as you're going through, people are um, seeing your coat immediately making way for you. Okay. But you can see them in, in the ring, you can see two people fighting, blood everywhere, bloody eyes, scrapes all the way down bodies, there's like chunks of people missing, blood all over the thing. Mm. Is this from the current fight? Yeah. Oh, alright. Wow, one yeah, fight, the, fucking hell. Well, they, yeah, the fight's barely started. <laughs> they let them use weapons. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's fine. Yeah, I am. Terry, you're walking out of the dirt, person walking with you. It looks like quite a young guy. Um, that's going with you and he is he doesn't look nervous but he's like more like like looking at the crowd than looking at where like the people that he's meant to be looking after are like alright 
Uh, yeah, uh, it's only like my <coughs> third fight, and they're always a bit, you know, much. Say nothing. I've seen worse. Ah, oh, great. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm sure what you're getting here is pretty tame. It's what's outside of here that's the problem. I mean, yeah, yeah. Hey, in here there's rules, alright? They gotta stick to those. Yeah, I mean, I've seen someone like fall into one of the tubs of tar. Have you ever seen someone fall into agri equipment? <laughs> no. I don't recommend visiting an agri world. Oh, okay. I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, oh. But it's all like, like farms and, and plants. Um, and so you get to the side of the arena, of the arena there's like a, a sign, which is like a medical sign. <coughs> there's like a little area for you guys, so you can go straight up into the ring if need be. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll sort of hang around where it looks like there's probably a, a seat or something for us to sit at. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll sit down there. Okay. So you well, what you're watching, and you can see that one of the guys starting to really mm. like shake off for a couple of minutes like there's like blood all dripping down here <coughs> um, and it, they're losing a lot of blood and they're like starting to waver um other than the blood i'm going to do a medicaid to see if there's any obvious signs of like serious things to look out for when i deal with them right. uh, is that flat for this one uh it'd be plus 20. Uh, four degrees of success. Okay, so he's taking a hit to the back of the head, so there's blood all on the back of the head. It's probably like that he's got some kind of concussion. So, concussion, blunt force trauma to the head. Yeah, uh, there's like uh, broken knuckles, yeah, maybe right a broken right. finger. There's like blood all coming down here, but it's probably more superficial than anything else. Until you look at his <coughs> left hand and realise that there's a cut going all across the wrist here. Uh, and that's where the, most of the blood's coming yeah, from. Potential laceration to the veins. Uh, Having a look through, you've also got um, <coughs> uh, like, uh, one of the tendons in his leg has been cut, which is why he's swaying and not putting any weight on his back leg. There Nothing. are some. What are they fighting things. with? Uh, the, he, one of the opponents has got glass in both knuckles. Ah. Uh, and the other guy, the one that's really badly hurt, doesn't have any of that. He was just fighting bare knuckles. Ah. That's why there's huge slashes all over him, like and bruising and blood. There's mostly it's blood loss. There's some in his stomach as well. You're seeing it, and the guy goes like this and smashes him with the glass and gets him right across here as he then goes onto the ground. And you hear a ding, ding, ding. Uh, I'll, I'll get up and go go straight over them. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll turn to the, the guy that's with me mm -hmm. and I'll give him a command. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I will tell him to uh, check on this, the guy who's still standing. Okay, plus 30. Plus 30. Whoa. Okay. Nice. Um, Another whoa. Boy. Take seven degrees of success. Yes, ma'am. As he goes across <coughs> the outside, dealing with the person still standing, all the adrenaline is still pumping through him. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll, I will medicate the guy who has hit the floor. Yep. So I will deal with the trouble things first. I take it he's still breathing, he's just a bit ragged, sort he's of thing. He's bleeding, but he's like gurgling blood in his neck, kind of. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's going to be my first port call, pretty <laughs> much. Um, if that's just flat, that's two degrees of success. Okay, so yeah, so uh, you basically could stop him from dying, but you can stabilise him on one. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. I, I basically will make sure he's not choking to death on his blood. Yeah. Give some basic binding to everything that's bleeding, stop it. Absolutely gushing, and then I'll uh, do his left wrist as well. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, wrist, wrist, head, yeah, um, his leg, and then I will get uh, get him stretched off. So there's basically there's like two lads that aren't really medical <coughs> team, but they are there just to pick up. Yeah, people. heavy lifting. So they they pick him yeah. up. I'll sort of say signal to them. Stretcher bearers. Yeah, yeah. So they just go and take him off, and the other guy walks um, off. Uh, from is there is a pen and paper or anything with the kit I've got? Uh, yes, I will say yes. Okay, I'll, I'll write a very quick summary of the the injuries. Stick it uh, on his chest. I'll take a take a bit of the blood that's leaked off somewhere, wet yeah. side of paper, and stick it on his fucking forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, triage. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay. 
He's on conscious, yeah, okay. When nice. you see them, is you see some service girls come up and they basically just put like a layer down onto the, uh, the arena. arena. Mm, put some ash da- yeah. ashes down or something. Because like I don't have, so- have sawdust. Yeah. As, as, as they're doing that, I'll sort of dip my fingers into the sawdust that they're just putting down as I'm walking off. Yeah. Just to uh, yeah. get some right. blood off. So where nice. you guys are, so you see uh, a bloke coming with a stretcher, like bandages here, there's a note on his forehead, blood like all over him as he's walking in. You recognise the bloody forehead thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, ah, Alice. <laughs> and you see a bloke walk in that's covered in blood, but doesn't look so bad, and he's got like the glass all in his knuckles. Mm. And then they go, right, so... Are you wearing armor if you're fine? No. Nope. Clothing? Uh, no, nope. I'm going out, you know, you know completely bullet naked. Alright, lad. Okay, cool. Uh, weapons? Nah, just my fists. You don't want to take a disadvantage, sorry, take a disadvantage for extra to go in. Barbed wire, oh, glass, no. nails? No. So I have that, yeah, because uh, Nick, yeah, so Nick hasn't decided, sorry, I'm alone, hasn't decided. You know, um, who, you know, who reckons I should? Barbed wire. <laughs> Well, let me let me put let me paint a picture for you. You're a gunfighter going into a fist fight. Yes, oh, yeah. you're probably fairly good in a fist fight, but you don't know what the waters are like in here. You haven't gotten in that ring yet. It's probably yeah. better to play it safe than to go in guns blazing and fuck yourself up. Yeah, you've got a point. From a naval standpoint, logic. Yeah. So no, you know, just plain fists. All right, lad. Turns the opponent, and the opponent <coughs> looks at you. Gets his fist, dips it into the glass. Mm. All he's right. got glass in both, both, hands, both fists. And he's meanwhile, he's still got an unfair it. advantage. He knows about a couple of the guys' pre existing medical issues. I know, so. that's why I said barbed wire, because he's more likely to win and get the extra points. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm still, thi- you know, I'm still thinking, yeah, like, him. try and make it last five minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dance around. <coughs> dance mm. the dance. Okay, so you walk into the ring and you the hear the answer. I basically saying something, but unless you're really listening, it's, it's more yeah, like, it, it's just it's just noise. <laughs> yeah, it's peaks of noise above other noise going on. Or it's just like could be saying anything right now. As he walks into the ring, though, I slap his ass. <laughs> yes, I'm careful. Might get me hard. <laughs> that would count as a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you could choke him. People, it's not like you've got anything to be well, ashamed of, honey. Yeah, it is said that people do choke on small parts. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I envy those people. <laughs> <laughs> um, sort of casting a critical eye as the other guy uh, walked off as well, the one with the glasses up in the previous fight. Mm-hmm. Um, the the quick triage that the the kid did was it all right? Was he? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when 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 I sort of sit down with him, I'll sort of say, Look, "You're doing fine. Good work." Doesn't need to be anything special as long as they're not dying. Thanks, man. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you walk into the ring, the other guy's there. He gets in and he immediately crouches right down, like spreading himself towards you. He's like 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 the the knuckle hands he's like like doing this blood dripping down, he's like staring at you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm just gonna stretch, you know, while just keeping an eye on him. <clears throat> yeah, that, um, <coughs> good, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, I could do some lunges in this general direction. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <Sorry. coughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Lunge. Okay, do you have intimidate? Yes. Right, we're gonna have an intimidate off. Whoa! Oh. Come on, this will be the time to roll well. <coughs> Uh, so is it just flat? So this one's just flat because it's, it's us versus each other. It's opposed, so... No! I'm off by three points! Fuck! Yeah, yeah, but he might fail hard, though. Yeah, so it's still one degree of failure. Just two degrees of success. Oh, Shit! Yeah. He's scary. So, he's scary. do you want to <laughs> point and re-roll? Otherwise, you are intimidated currently. Yeah, what does that mean? What does that actually get, mean in terms of negatives? Uh, so basically, it just means that you're in a situation where you are more f- you are afraid of him. You have to overcome your fear to go forward to fight him. Mm. Um, so it's just more like <laughs> you have to do willpower just to go forward to continue fighting him. I probably for the first round. I probably should <laughs> for the first round. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I, prob- I probably should. I'll re-roll it. Fuck it. Nah, fine. 
Give me those. Fucking hell. Yeah, wow. That, um, so that is... <laughs> I, I needed the 37, so that's three degrees of success. Okay, so it's one, so it's one degree of intimidation because mine was two. That's how it works. <coughs> you one degree of intimidation. So you lunge at him and you clock eyes at him and you raise your eyebrows and you're like... Yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and he looks intimidated by you. So he's on the ground. He's like, cage. I could do. Uh, uh, I could do the whole the whole thing where I f- my f- I flex my pecs like one at a time. You know, it's like you, you know. <laughs> 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 okay. So yeah. And then you hear the three, two, one, fight. <coughs> I, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna move in closer. But right, so okay. as soon as you take a step forward, he scuttles away from you, and you can hear the crowd booing because <laughs> he failed his willpower, Ooh. and now he's afraid of you. Yeah, it's like, oh, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna wait and you know, see what he was gonna do, but I'm basically gonna be chasing him around the ring at this point. <laughs> just stand in the middle and just be like, come on. Yeah, no, I, come yeah. So on, I'm gonna, you know, come get me, come on. Yeah, because depends on what, yeah, it depends on what he does, you know. Then. Um, See how many rounds it takes me to come near you? Okay, so it's gonna take me four rounds to come near you, so. So you just <laughs> stood there like <laughs> oh yeah because no, yeah because basically you know uh, uh, you know like four rounds so a couple of rounds I'll be chasing him and I'm just gonna stand there you know you know stand there in the middle of the ring going come on <laughs> come on <laughs> I, 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 while the whole crowd is shouting anyway I'm gonna call on showboat showboat <laughs> <laughs> oh is there you know, is it like you know so we're in a cage yeah. look at like him cower before me. Yeah, this cage. Do you like the Put on your game show face. Ah. Uh, Why are you not entertained? It, yeah, just like climb up the cage and monkey bar, monkey around, <laughs> and then drop them. <laughs> <on. laughs> I mean, I, I, I could, you know, just go up, the, um, you know, on the near the edge. Do, do one arm pull ups on the top of the cage. Yeah. yeah. No. While you're waiting. Like, and then drop on them. <laughs> yeah, just while I'm waiting, it's just I may as well have a workout while I'm here. Yeah. <coughs> so, and, in, and in my head, I'm thinking that's fine. It kills some time. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> can I have an athletic score, please? Ooh, you can. Plus thirty. That's very well. Yay! Um, three degrees of success. Okay, please describe what you're doing. <clears throat> um, yeah, basically, you know, basically, I'm. You're gonna, you know, um, start off, you know, um, by sort of leaning against the cage. Um, and then you know, um, you know, just gonna think, you know, think about it, and then just, you know, you know depending on how high it is, I you might just climb up the side and then grab a hold of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want uh, help for how to showboat alongside with this? Go on then. You're at one side of the cage, <coughs> you're probably on the other. Sprint at him, and then climb up. Because he'll run away from you. Yes. He'll run away. That gives you the chance to then climb up, mm-hmm. and then while you're up there. See something, do a roll, you know. Talks of smack. Ooh. Yeah. Depends, yeah, depends if they hit me or not. Um, oh, that'd be a good thing to say. Uh, it'd probably be a charm. You're not very good at fighting. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be a charm for the audience. Yeah, I'm not thing. really the charming type. He is on the field of me! It's no harm in trying it. I will make him my bitch. Yeah. I will make you humble. <laughs> Bless your back. I make you humble. As you're doing the one-handed pull-ups, be like, "Come on, then, come on." Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I think we're gonna, you know, have that, and then uh, basically just, you know, just be like, "I thought we were here for a fight." <laughs> you're like doing one arm pull-ups. Because the people yeah. who don't hear you are just impressed by the shouting and the, you know, bravado. Yeah, yeah. So. It doesn't matter what you say at that point. It's just the fact that you're like. Whoa. Mm. There are a lot of people like cheering for you, booing for him. Yeah, just mm. watching this like seriously. Mm. Yeah, I, I shouted at him to show about so fuck it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, yeah, because pretty, pretty much if it looks like he is going, you know, actually engage, you know, then obviously I just drop, you know, just drop down and be ready for him. So I'm still keeping an eye on him. Not. <laughs> He's like scuttling around more on the ground, and then he like is scuttling closer and closer, and then he jumps up at you. Ooh. <laughs> Um, do, so does that mean he, get, he gets an attack at that point, or can I, can I surprise uh, he's him? He's gonna, yeah, you can try, um, he, can you try a dodge for me? Um, yes, I can. Yeah, if you get a good dodge, you might have a, an attack from above advantage, though. Uh-huh. Uh, just, it's just flat for these, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck off! <laughs> what? Um, no. The, the DM can impose 
depending on situation. I failed by, I failed by seven points. <coughs> seven points. Oh, seven points. All right, well, I'll, I'll be nice. Yay. Yay. Okay, so yeah, have an attack track. GM shows mercy. He, he is at a disadvantage, disadvantageous position, being lower. I am, so do I. Mm. You bequeath a boot to the head. <laughs> yeah. uh, heel to the head. Um, do I get any other bonuses for, you know, for the attack? Or uh, I know a standard attack is plus 10 anyway, but... Yeah, yeah you can have another 10, so it's plus 20, because you're like going on the ground, down. <laughs> so you can either, are you just going to punch him? <laughs> Kick him? Fucking Superman punch. <laughs> yeah, fucking Superman punch. That, that would be epic. So just... <laughs> yeah, straight from the fucking arm that you had on the thing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Cool. Come on, please pass this. Yes! Basically, just gives it a little bit of an up, so that oh. you can... got more momentum going down. So, um, <gasps> follow through and stop. yeah, that's three Superman degrees of success. Superman, no, three degrees of success. So, unarmed combat. Weapon oh, skill. Weapon skill test. <laughs> yep. Inflicts one d five. Uh, dash. Three points strength. Uh, it's what, so the damage. standard for unarmed is one d five minus three, ah, and okay. then plus your strength. Plus strength and impact damage. Okay. Yeah. So the the strength the strength and the minus cancel each other out, and you go down to roll. Mm. But for unarmed against unarmed, it's going to take forever mm. to do anything, including yeah, fatigue. Inf inflict damage greater than or equal to uh, target's toughness bonus attack also inflicts one level of fatigue. Yeah. Which. Because okay. the, the only problem him. with that is the fact that it's very difficult <coughs> to deal damage. You hit him in the left arm, by the way. Okay, yeah. so you punch him, oh, yeah. probably like in the shoulder. Yeah, fucking taking his oh, shoulder as yeah. he goes down. So. Yeah, how much damage do you do? Yeah. Um, so that would be two... Um, five, no, um, so five, and then if you're imposing the minus three, then it's um, two. Okay, BAM! <laughs> Two, you know, two damage. Do you follow through in superhero landing? Yeah, it'll, it'll be part part of the thing. So you know, as I crack, yeah, you know, crack, obviously land land on the floor. It's like boom. <laughs> so what I would do is I'm only going to do a minus one, not a minus three, because you've got like all of the gravity in the punch as well. So an extra two, <coughs> so four. So, okay, so that. Fucking up, fucking up. Up him, fuck. Up him, fuck. He's tough as but it's just so crap. Yeah. So, but yeah, still be like, bam. Yeah, that, naturally, this is just going to be a slobber knocker. So, yeah, yeah. so even if damage doesn't go through, the fatigue still takes effect or not? Yeah. Well, I'd know. I don't know. Yeah, no, equal no. to or greater than toughness, so isn't it? It's greater than or equal to his toughness bonus is four. So yeah, it'll be a one level of fatigue. Damn. Yeah. Tough son of a bitch. Punch him got you. Put him in a choke. Put him sleeper hold. <laughs> That's tough as me. Choke me out, Johnny Bravo. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. Fair. Choke a bitch. Okay. Boom. I love being able to say that. <laughs> uh, okay, he lunges at you. The glass glances past your face as you roll forward because he misses. Yeah, I barely, you know, I barely have to dodge. My natural reaction would be, you know, obviously to move out the way, but you know, I then was like, uh, no. At least you didn't move into it. Okay, you go. No, punch him back again. Punch him. Oh yeah. No. Um. So that's um. Three degrees? Yeah, for, wait, for, um, 40. Plus 10 for standard attack. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah three degrees of success. Oh. Yep, yeah. what's the number? Um, 17, so seven, in the 71. That is... Left leg. Right leg. Right leg. Oh, close. Okay, nice. Right, okay, 1d5 minus 3 plus strength in this. Ooh, um, that's in, that would be 4, wouldn't it? Uh, 7 and 8, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> uh, so, so 4, four. <coughs> four. yeah. <coughs> No, um, oh, your strength is three, so it's just yeah. a flat roll for you, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, four damage. Ah, oh, that's another level of fatigue. So Blue. yeah, no extra momentum, just <coughs> fatigue. Oh, sorry, it's in the <coughs> right leg, was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, yeah, just, I'm, I'm, fine, I'm fine for this one. We'll make it a bit more narrative. You can choose where you punch it. Yeah, because okay. essentially, because because he just swung wide, you sort of you sort of duck, ducked in a little bit and aimed lower and well, punched him in the leg. Well, you've done a superhero landing. So he was expecting you to stand up, so he went above you. <coughs> you stayed down and whacked him in the leg. Mm. Right. I cocked. Oh. Don't hit you. You're going. <coughs> Woo! Why am I rolling so shit today? 
Uh, nice. 34, yep, yeah, that would be one degree of success. Um, um, so, flat, yeah, flat pass. And 43 is the trust. Uh, yeah, yeah, just this time. Come on, more damage. Yeah. I rolled a 10. So that's a natural 10 on the dice. Nice. You, get, you get Righteous Fury. Yeah, Righteous Fury. So, um, do, yeah, so you roll in, to in, attack again. Yeah. Come on. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. No. Okay. Okay. So you, you don't. Yeah, that's going to be one degree of failure. Fatigue. Uh, not fatigue. Uh, uh, critical, critical is what I mean. Oh, that would be a shame. A full five damage. Yeah, that oh, yeah. full five damage. Ah, oh, it takes a point. So, you know, so as I'm getting, yeah, so I'm getting, right. yeah, yeah, I'm getting back up, I move out of the way and hit him in the ribs. Okay, so he goes like this, rips a piece of glass out, takes the glass, and he's going to throw the piece of glass at you. Ooh. Ooh. Are you going to try and dodge? Well, depending on how he does, I might not need to. Okay. <laughs> no, no, so it's going to hit you. Are you going to try and dodge? Yeah, I'm going to dodge. Because, you know, I can't parry that. Um, or no I don't you let it hit you <coughs> and then take that you didn't go into the thing with so I know it. that he, he'd actually be better off biffing it back two, as well because three, four, he's great at ballistics yes. <laughs> yeah. okay. so it's going to be uh, four damage <gasps> no I take one wound <clears throat> and a level of fatigue yeah it's greater above your toughness so yeah so, um, so just to clarify with this one, is it a minus ten no. per level of fatigue? Or no. When when your no. level of fatigue is above your modifier for a stat, yeah. that stat is halved for everything you do. And then you've also got a fatigue threshold, which I think is um, <coughs> unconscious. Which is, yeah, which is yeah. your toughness bonus plus your willpower bonus. So when I get above what? Sorry. But basically, I'll tell you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not yet. I'll explain it properly after, but I'll, right. I'll tell you. Do you have a stat that's 19 or lower? <coughs> no. Then you're fine. Okay. Yeah, it's like, bastard, you cut me. Yeah, you've got like a piece of glass here, stuck in you currently. Cool. He's got like ah, blood. Ah, blood on ah, his ah. He's like, yeah. yeah, it's like, it's in the bone. <laughs> it's in my boob. Sorry. Fight mode. Yeah, so I'm going to have to rip it out. Yes. Biff it back. Yeah, biff it back at him. Okay, do you have medicating? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, can I roll it anyway? Cool, you I know try it's... to because you don't have medicating. When you take it out, you will cause damage to yourself. Yeah, because it's min- yeah, minus 20 either way. Um, on int check. Uh, so, uh, 18. 18. I have to roll pretty low. Uh, oh! oh so that would technically be two degrees. That would be <laughs> yeah. yeah. It does, it does more quite damage. So when you rip it out, it'll take you. Because you're ripping it out. No but, idea what you're and I said ignore toughness. Yeah, yeah. But no fatigue, we. No, you don't get no, no, no fatigue, we. But it's fine, I got a battle scar. Biffy back. Right, yeah. Well, you don't mess. Uh, yes, yeah, Biffy. He's point blank range as well, so plus 30 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> that's, why I like, that's why I got you. Uh, actually, if I take half an action to aim, you know, it's can I still dodge? Time. You know, can I still There's dodge? nothing saying you can't. It dodges a reaction. Aim yeah, half so. half action aim is a half action. Yeah. Cool. So plus four <laughs> so plus forty. You can so. all out attacks that you give up your evasion. Yeah. So, so seventy nine I need to get less then. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. Oh, yes. Nice. Also, if if your damage is less than your degrees of success. You can use your degrees of success as the damage, which yeah. is six. Right. So yeah, yeah that's six. But um, as a handy thing, in ooh, the um, face. Clo- yeah, close quarters discipline. Score one additional degree of success on any successful ballistic test oh, versus yeah. target at point blank, short range, or engaged in melee. So it's seven. So it's it, that's classed it's as seven, seven degrees. degrees. Also, <laughs> that's in the face. That's true. You rolled a twenty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so he just hit you with the chest. You've just gone. <laughs> you've shuriken him. Face. <laughs> So, Great, what right? would the damage be that I'd roll for that? Great, still, I'm writing, it's fine. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's Lucy, Lucy got this. Yeah, because it's either oh, whatever oh, I roll or, <laughs> oh, it's or seven. seven. You know, oh, it's fine. So I'm taking the seven because he's on four levels of fatigue. He's on five wounds currently. Yeah, just sort of like. I'm now at the point where all of my stats are now halved. Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> has he hit an eye? Uh, oh, that's probably part of it. Yeah. Sorry, it's not something. Oh, no, my nipple. I got it, I got it. Sorry. I dropped it. Uh, I will say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, you've hit him in the right eye. So it's oh. in his right eye currently. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Kiss your nipple. 
Oh, I'm just clumsy. I know. That's why I bought more. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, right. but obviously I'm. Thank yeah, you. but I'm. Yeah, but I'm not adva- You know, I'm not advancing on him. I'm waiting. You know, I'm waiting for him at this okay. point. I'm just so like, no, like, your turn now. <laughs> he is crying on the floor, holding his eye because he didn't pass the workout test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like. What do you do? Hmm. He's not unconscious. So. Yeah, no, he's not unconscious. <laughs> so, is he? If he's crying. I'm going to walk up to him, so you know, just casually saunter. He's not really paying attention to you, so he's like, "My God!" <laughs> right? Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> It'd be quite funny. Um, you know, I'm gonna you know, walk up to him, uh, and then I'm gonna you know, uh, look, look to the crowd. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Basically, just be like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're like, finish him! Can I suggest something? Pretty, pretty, please. Can I suggest something? Oh, what are you going to suggest? I'm asking you from aloud first. Walk up to him, pick him up, like, (coughs) under here, like this, and then pull the glass out. Slam his head back. He's he's not trained in Medicaid, it's going to (laughs) hurt. It's going to do a wound, (coughs) and then properly throw him. Pimp yeah, Ooh, no, that is yeah. really cool. <laughs> Take the glass out and then pimp slap him. Mm. Yeah, no, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, right. It's a crowd pleaser. <coughs> they said they wanted blood and blood and gore. Yeah. That will do it. Yeah. Do? So yeah, so yeah, so I'm gonna yeah. Keep you twisting, get the eyeball with it. So yeah, so I'm gonna grab 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 his head. Yeah. You know, put you know, pull you know, pull him up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna slowly reach for the glass. You know, the, the anticipation for the crowd, so it's like, oh, yeah. you know, and then just rip it out. <laughs> Ooh. Just, just collective. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna no, um, you know, um, like just chuck the glass down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, and you know, and you know, hold him up a little bit higher. Mm-hmm. And then just, yeah, just wind up, you know, wind up with a big hit and just smack so he just goes, you know, flying across. Okay, so just go roll a hundred to him. Cool. <laughs> fucking <laughs> <no>. <laughs> If I roll a six, so fucking, yeah. Okay. I hit. <laughs> you go like this, you smack <coughs> him in the face, you turn, and you break his neck as he falls. It's like, oops. <laughs> and he's suddenly, like, limp in your arms, dead weight. Mm. Well, at this point, after I, you know, after I whack him, you know, I basically just, ch- you know, just chuck him. And then you hear a bing, bing, bing. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll go over. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> check him out. Um, <laughs> Magic as, sponge. So sort of as, as, as I walk past oh, him, wow. I'm just like, ocular trauma. That's a rare one for me. I don't think that's the only thing you've got to worry about. Uh, are there any bonuses to this medical? Plus 30. Well, he is dead. Look like uh, you. One degree, one degree of success. He's dead. He's got a broken neck. Um, have they got anything electric on their by? Uh, yeah, yeah. They've got like you know, like the numbers which has how much um, the bets are worth. There's wires and stuff attached to that. How haggard do those wires look? Do they look like it'd be easy to <coughs> pull one out and not shock myself? Uh, with a tech you shock. <coughs> I'm curious now. Because I'm, I'm going to walk over. What do you think he's going to do? I'm, he's going to do. I'm going to walk over. <laughs> Clear. Right his head mm-hmm. and sort of fix it in place using something. Mm-hmm. Just because I've got medical stuff. So this is going to be... A, you nearly did it again. I know. This is going to be impressive if you manage to bring him back. Well, I can get you a proper med kit off the black market. <laughs> Ooh. Honey, come here a second. <laughs> Oh, sugar adrenaline pumping through you. Yes, yeah. Yeah, what do you need? Because that like cracks you. I need one of those, I need That's two of nice. those wires for a moment. But I need them safely. Give me a hand, please. Yes, and I will find out why in a minute. <laughs> um, is it just flat tech use? It is, yes. Uh, so, because he has it. No, I don't have it. I can't do it. Fuck! Nope. You got any fake points? I've got one. <laughs> you may want to. Yeah, I, I don't have yeah, that's like, I sure, of course I can help. <laughs> 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 
Much better. Uh, the two degrees of success. Okay, so you go across, you pull the wires out of the back of it, so you've got the blue and the red one, and then you like, look at her like... Okay, so can you show me how to hold them safe? Mm. Oh yeah, so make sure you hold you, these you. bits here, not there. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. I attempt to defibrillate the fucker. Okay, roll me a medication. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. I know, but it's the best well, I've got. You need volts to restore. Uh, too, too much ampage, it'll, it'll kill. It's the best I've got. He's dead. Yeah, yeah. the only way is up. He's already dead. I'm going to spend a few points. I say, if I, if I can do a good job and keep the guy alive through a broken fucking neck... Then he'll be paralysed and he'll just be like... Yeah, but I don't care about that. Oh, clear. Oh, that one's cocked, but that is a 20-something. So, oh, flat. Right. Uh, four four degrees of success. Okay, so you look at it and you're like... In for a penny, in for a pound, you yeah. shock And I do it properly where I get just above there yeah. and just there. And, and just <coughs> you don't do that because then it constant flow, you just tap. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Quick. Yeah, so you do that, the whole body jerks, and suddenly he's like. Yeah. If he ends up brain dead, you can just, we just serve it to him. I, I, I hand <laughs> the back and say, close back now, honey. Huh. Sure. <laughs> And I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll just put them back, and yeah, put them back where they were. Okay. Were they actually affixed to anything, or did I have to actually remove them? Yeah, remove you remove them. them. Okay, no, I'll put, I'll put them back. <laughs> um, so then I'm going to make a command at the guy who I've just defibrillated. I know he's probably a bit. <laughs> I was just dead. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. The, the command was shit. Um, I fail the command by sit still, you twat. Three <laughs> but basically, I, I I command him, don't move. You broke your neck. <laughs> you also died. Okay. But if, if he's not with it, then... Yeah, it's like, you broke my neck. Actually, no, he yeah. broke your neck. <laughs> I'll, I'll finish securing his neck in place. Yeah. Uh, and then... The stretches. Yeah. Thing of the thing. There's Broken a neck. Bit, bit, of blood, bit of blood from under his eye. So there's a man that's there currently, and he's currently, like, getting the blood off your chest. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I've got the adrenaline, the adrenaline running through me. I'm just like, yeah. But great, didn't really hurt much at all, you know. But later it's just going to be, ah, fuck. <laughs> so my note on the guy's forehead, gently, read basically reads, severe ocular trauma, lost right eye, broken neck, was dead. <laughs> God better. Be careful. <laughs> and I sort of underline broken neck. <laughs> okay. <coughs> there you go. Okay. Do you see this guy coming in at that um, uh, car path was fighting and the state eating and all the rest right, of it? Yeah, I will, I will. I'm five, you've come past. Oh, yeah. He's got like a small bandage here, but there's like basically no blood on him at all. <coughs> yeah, and if it's me to go out next, I will disrobe. <coughs> oh, yeah, no, as you do uh, high five, you to say, good luck. Not that, you, you probably won't need it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the woman that's the she unrobes, she has like a strip of bandage like mm. across here, <coughs> across and, the then the, and then like a little bit of it like, down here as well. And that's all she's wearing going mm. out, covering the modesty. Yeah, she's got pointed knuckle dusters on. Mm. Oh, I've just got my spiky one. I've got my spiky chain. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So yeah. So we go down go down into the rings, we're gonna walk past you, we walk up into the arena, you hear the ha, 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 ha. replacement sheet on the ground. Well, yeah. Give it a wipe. Yeah, there's like there's the service the thing, all that stuff across it. It's just like dust all across the arena, it's just soaks up of blood. Lean, lean across, get a bit more dust. Yeah. yeah. Use that to get. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking. Off. Sorry, not sorry. I added to that. <laughs> That's the point. Mm. <laughs> How, how's my little friend doing mm. after the fucking ocular trauma? Mm. He seems okay. He's, back he's, he's just there, like. I can't move. <laughs> I can't feel my I can't feel my, my hair. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> How did you do that? In fact, I, I, I do, I legitimately need to have never seen someone die before. It was only temporary this time, it's all good. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna last a day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we get into the ring, she looks at you, she gives a deep 90 degree bow, 
Did she put both her hands up like <coughs> this? Oh. And I'll be like, maybe, maybe the Emperor forgive us both. Okay, and then you're hearing a three, two, one, fight! Mortal Kombat! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Did you wear that just to fight now? I did. Yeah. Specifically picked it. <laughs> <coughs> Right. I'm going to go for... Right, let's, let's try and intim- let's open with an Intimidate. Yeah, okay, I want to Intimidate Intimidate off! off. Mm. Yeah. Fate! Yes, give me them fate points, feed me. Oh yes, good, yeah, good move. <coughs> okay, so I... Uh, let's see, Intimidate, that's my strength. <coughs> Yes, it is. My strength, that's four. I got 41, I rolled 28, so that's two degrees of success. Nice. That I had one degree, therefore, if you pass by one degree, I have one degree of intimidation. <coughs> Let's see, I'm at my willpower. I'm, I should be shouting um, shouting scripture at her. <laughs> right, okay. We are the really scary bits. Make me sound badass. She like takes some deep breaths. Okay. She goes like that. You start shouting scripture, and she starts being very confused and backing away from you. Right. <coughs> <coughs> fucking, <coughs> do her. <laughs> do her one. Because <laughs> we're here to fight or what? Sing <coughs> <coughs> yeah, your own Fanny's dance. Let's fight. <laughs> Admittedly, that's what I expected you to do. I expected you to capitalise on the fact. That you- that yours was like, whoa, what'd you go? Fucking Yeah. <laughs> the Queen have it. Yeah, the putting me against a woman doesn't matter she knew yeah, she knew the risks and she signed up. Fine. Well at the same time I'm like, nah, I think I think uh, I'm gonna uh, capitalise on the showboating. Oh, yeah. kind of wild. Oh, for sure. Sixteen. Okay, that's fine. I said it's a narrative choice where you wanna Okay. Let's go well, since they since they want a um <laughs> since they want a, a fight, let's go for a body shot. You can do this for a boob. Uh, no, in, in, in between the boobs, not the wind out of Oh, there. fucking right in the stone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Bam! Because, okay. I, I mean, if... Uh, she hit a crack she, of the fucking... She's, she's got muscular, isn't she? She's got, like, yeah. she got, she got, ab, she, she got abs like a dairy milk. Yeah. What's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the feel while you're at it? <laughs> Doesn't interest me. Boop, boop. No, but it'd be funny. But just down the abs. So smooth. Okay, uh, roll me damage. <clears throat> okay, what's that? That's D5, is it? So 1D5 minus 3 plus your strength bonus. Okay. Your strength is in the 40s, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, <coughs> it's not an armed combat because you've got a thing, isn't uh, yeah. it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's 1D5 you get <coughs> minus 3 plus strength bonus. Okay, so that's 7 damage. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so. Right in the sternum. <clears throat> it's so it's that's a spike quite chain as well, yeah. And <laughs> one level of. Because, <laughs> funnily enough, the sternum can crack like a knuckle, so, so you've probably got this massive that, crack in there. You see sound. this like huge red indent mark yeah. where you've done it. You see the scrapers you've done. All, all, all the little punch, all the punch yeah. and yeah. marks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cracking okay. sound. So she passes her willpower, starts to recover, lunges back at you. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck yes! And she's gonna hit you in the chest yeah. unless you dodge. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll try and dodge. I do not dodge. Okay, so uh, so that's uh, six damage. Six damage. Okay, so I take two damage. Okay. And is that fatigue as well? Yep, the first point of damage. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Spurs rage. Yeah, so <coughs> you interrupted me retelling my scripture. Now you must die. <laughs> okay, so one to the chest. All out attack. Oh, so that's <coughs> 30, is yeah, it? Plus and plus 10 for my cleansing pain. Yes. Yeah, oh, it is. Oh, you can fuck. that round of evasion. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Plus 40, let's go. Okay, Oy. and my weapon's 38. Oh, 61. So let's, re- let's fake that. Yeah, use those fake points. Yeah. Oh, Good choice. Yeah. It's still better. Yep, 46, <coughs> which means, see, I'm plus 40. Yeah. So, yes, by yes. four degrees. Four degrees. Four. Yeah, minimum of four points of damage. I do well. can! Yep, yeah, right, roll me damage. Damage. Six. 
No. Oh, no, sorry, no, it's a five. It's, sorry, it's D five, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah. Well, really. right. well, can I take my um, degree of success? Can I, I'll take my degree of success. So yeah, to get four, four instead yeah. of a three, which is eight damage. Yeah, yeah. Eight. fucking no. off. <coughs> it's, I'm so glad you've got that option. <coughs> Where are you going? I want to um, punch her in the sh- punch her in the top of the arm. Oh. So, Get an arm broken. Yeah. Dislocate Dislo- the shoulder. Yeah, break an arm, whatever. You know, just yeah, make it harder for her to hit you back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bam! Nice. Just imagine now that you know, the confrontation just like, oh, oh, smash, smash, smack! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> nice. Yeah. I kind of want um, you to dislocate a shoulder. Mm. Yeah, that one. <laughs> what, what he's done is he. But like you can see oh, this oh, collarbone is oh, broken. Oh, this oh. snaps out. Her arm's going to be like... Mm. Yeah. So left and right arm you punch. Well, I suppose it would technically be easier for me to go for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right arm. Mm. So it's her right. Yeah. Shit, yeah, okay. Right, cool. Lost her right arm. Oh. I get a disadvantage to hit. She goes to hit you with her left arm and like touches you, but she glances off. So like, you feel the two barely touches you. <coughs> You feel a graze. Mm. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, she misjudged I want to get her into a, into a hold. Okay, so we can do grappling. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Wrestling! Um, how do I get into a grappling? Yeah, because I think it's weapon skill, isn't it? Weapon skill <laughs> versus um, strength if it succeeds. Yeah. All I've got is grappling on page 221. So, it's oh. on the boat. Page 221! Uh, the book! It's on your book. It's quite my foot, is it? Uh, this one just, 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 just says grappling. Active controller yeah, must use go. full action to maintain oh, grappling. Two, 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 one. Two, one. Two, I, two, I don't two, have my like cleansing pain anymore. Uh, I'm not sure. Until I get damaged again. Then I get more cleansing pain. Uh, <laughs> grapple, half or full action. Um, this attack is only used when a character is already... This action is only used when a character is already engaged in a grapple. Uh, two, two, eight for full rules. I'm starting a grapple. Here we go. Oh, my mistake. There we go. Um, instead of inflicting unarmed damage with an attack, and a character can attempt to grapple his opponent. Attempting a grapple is a melee attack that uses either a charge action or a standard attack action. Mm-hmm. The attacker makes a weapon skill test as normal. The target of the grapple may use a reaction if able to avoid the attack. If the attack is successful, the attacker and the target start to grapple with the attacker controlling. In a grapple, all of the following apply. You cannot use reactions. Uh, participants cannot use reactions. Considered to be in melee combat. Uh, can only use the grapple action. Controller of the grapple can voluntarily end the grapple at any point during his turn as a free action. Other attackers gain a plus 20, that's irrelevant. Um, only two characters can be engaged in the same grapple, but up to two other characters can lend assistance to each grapple in certain situations, that's not fine. So weapon skills, is it? Weapon skills. Well, and attack. it's um, yeah. standard attack or charge, which in this case is plus 10. So. Standard, yeah. okay. Uh, and then what's it opposing? Is it just to uh, pass? It? She, she can attempt to dodge or parry. So she can she can use a reaction to attempt to prevent it. I cannot parry currently because I'm not ambidextrous. 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 Okay. Yeah. She could try to dodge. Uh, <coughs> yes. Should we see? Yeah. Yeah. So try and grapple me, love. Thirty-two. That's a yeah. <coughs> okay. I fail my gra- my dodge. Sorry. Okay. So I've got, got a gra- I've got a grapple. Got yeah. Yeah. Right. Let me. So let me say to us other things you can do in a grapple. Tell me about it. Sin, sister, tell me your sins, tell the Emperor your sins. Let's see, I can <laughs> declare grapple as a half action and I can try and break free. Mm-hmm. Um, My strength is 41. So is it, is it weapon skill versus what? So weapon bonus versus, sorry, strength bonus versus strength bonus. Um, That's why he's just checking, I think. Uh, oh, sorry for being awkward. <laughs> No, it's interesting because if um, you, you hadn't done it, I was kind of wanting that to happen with mine. You know, at some point, I was like, ah, now nah, I just hit. Oh. So if the active character is controlling the grapple, the first thing he must do on his turn is to declare grapple as a full action in order to maintain the grapple. If he does not declare grapple as a full action, the grapple ends immediately after they can choose one of the following options. That's not relevant. Um, yeah, because it doesn't say, doesn't actually say what you can do. Well, I'm just holding her in play, stopping her from attacking me unless she can break out. Yeah, so she. It looks like she'll need, essentially, to attempt to grapple to break the grapple. Yes, yeah, so well, she has to. But you can't, can't react because okay. you're in a grapple. Yeah. Okay. I uh, don't succeed. She tries to break free and doesn't succeed. Tell me your sins. Tell the Emperor. Okay, so while she's grappled, you have a couple of options. 
You have the option to damage opponent, throw down opponent, or push opponent. Oh wait, there's grapple targets on the side. Um, yeah, attempt to break free, slip free, or take control. Um, but again, fails, it's fine. Yeah, so you can attempt to damage, which... Uh, Attempt to damage opponent with brute force by making a opposed strength test with the grapple opponent. I'm just holding on, I don't want to intimidate. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You've got to throw down and push, Ooh. but you don't want to do that apparently, so. No, I don't intimidate him. Okay. Fine. So you're not going to try and do any damage or anything? No, I'm just holding okay. or intimidating. Okay, uh, I'll try and break three again. So it's a opposed strength test against the controller of the grapple. Strength test. Mm. Okay. <coughs> Strength. <coughs> yeah, post, so. 23, <coughs> so that's um, three. Two, uh, th- yeah, three, three degrees of success. No, mine was one degree of success. Right. Yeah, you're still not breaking three. three, little one. Right. right. Okay, um, I wish to try another um, intimidate. Yeah. Oh, damn it, no, I'm fainting that. Yeah. Oh. I've got one f- fake point after this. Nice. Yeah. Ah, no. Yeah. Did you just roll basically the same? Yeah, pretty oh, much. Oh shit. <laughs> that sucks. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm maintaining my hold. Yeah. <laughs> I will maintain the grapple. <laughs> um, the, o- the other actions that the grappled person can try is to slip three or to take control. Uh, I'll try and take control. How do I do that? Okay, so to attempt to take control, uh, opposed strength test. Um, if the active character wins, they become the controller of the grapple. Okay, mm, so I've got one degree, <coughs> uh, one degree of failure. Oh, I passed by two degrees. Ah, ah, oh, no! I'm in control of this grapple so, now. Yeah. Turn around so and grab slipped. me. Yeah. So she's sort of one arm. <coughs> yeah. She's got you. Ah. So, what can I, what, so I can what, escape, take control? Um, with... With the fact that she's just taken control, the active character may then immediately perform one of the controller grapple options. So she can attempt to damage you, throw you down, or push you. I want to throw down. How do I throw down? Controller of the grapple can attempt to wrestle the grapple opponent to the ground by making an opposed strength test. What of opposed strength tests? Oh, 51 failed by one degree. Better oh. Passed by two. Throw down! Okay, the, con- the controller can choose to end the grapple at this point as a free action or continue to grapple the prone opponent, gaining a plus 10 to all further opposed tests during the grapple until the opponent, uh, the prone opponent manages to stand, assuming he's able to. Uh, no, I'm going to throw him on the ground because I'm breaking the grapple. Mm-hmm. Cool, so free, free to break grapple. Yeah. So she's. BAM! I think it doesn't do any damage or anything. Nope. No. no. Okay, bomb prone. It, it forces forces them prone, which, if if they attack while he's prone, they get a plus 10 bonus. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's your grand. Don't throw you down. Yeah, right, I'm getting up. <coughs> I'm spending my action getting up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, it is only a half action to stand, so you still have okay. half an action. I can't really do much with half an action. Uh, you can still attack. Stand oh, attack. Yeah. No intimidate. Yep. That's oh, fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Intimidate. Of. Um. So that was intimidate of two degrees. Okay. Oh, I don't pass the willpower. I back away from you. Crazy eyes. Crazy eyes. Okay. Gla- glazed over. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> Oh, an attack! Yes! Fuck. Ah, no! Ah. Well, plus... Oh, plus 30. Oh, sorry. It's yeah, plus yeah. 30 because so, you will out attack. Plus 30, so that would be... <coughs> so that's 45. No, that's still not... I can just imagine at this point, like, the, the yeah, some of the yeah. crowd that ah. might have been there from yesterday, yeah, from yesterday, just it's like, we love you, Penitent Man! <laughs> okay. she fails her willpower again. She's still terrified of you. Yeah, grapple, grapple, grapple! You, you, What's the cage made of? Metal. Yeah, no, I know, but is it like mesh or is it bars? Mesh. Okay. That's how we spider climb off it before. Yeah. <coughs> but um, I'm, I'm guessing there are sort of like posts at the corners. Yes. Oh, fuck, you're gonna fuck her up, good. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who's more creepy, the guy that's following you around or him? The guy that's following us around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yes. my. Yeah. This is more psychotic than Greek. Yeah, because my, 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 my anger is uh, comes from deep-seated trauma. Yeah, he's just creepy. Right. Grapple. He's, he's method out. Nice. Yeah. 16! Yep. Grapple! 
grapples. Yeah. Ah! Okay. Then what? Okay, so gra- grapple's been initiated. Okay. So, um, so um, yeah, throw <coughs> damage or um, I don't want to push her into the corner. So Ooh. throw basically throwing opponent. Yeah. So throwing, yeah, a- yeah, opposed opposed <coughs> strength. No, ninety nine. Fate, last fate, last fate. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Worth it. Worth it. I fell by two degrees. <sighs> so he's thrown yeah. into the face. So free reaction obviously to break the grapple when he yeah, wings into the corner. cage. Yeah, so you bang her into the corner. <coughs> I'm still gonna say she's like dazed a second. I mean like you've smashed her into a corner, yeah. Go on. <coughs> right, and if she um if she got on a sprawled out on her front. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. So she's facing you. <coughs> Right, yeah, she sort of still stood up, but yeah. Uh, no, because it knocks her prone. Yeah, she would be on her. She'd probably she'd be, be on her front way. Yeah, so yeah, so imagine you throw her into yeah, the corner. She, she'll be on she her front, like, basically, yeah. and hits the deck. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, she she'd be on her front at the moment. Yeah, based on the way you threw her. Like, Boobies down. Right. Boobies, Boobies down. <laughs> right, has she got hair? Yeah. <coughs> Tits to Satan. Wanna, no, I want to. I want to grab her, uh, brutal. Grab yeah. her by the hair and smash her in the side of the head. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Is that an all-out attack as well? Yeah. Oh, oh. fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh. Oh. Nice. Right, yeah, so that's... Um, so it's going to hit. <laughs> 38, so that's three... Plus, 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 plus Oh, yeah, plus 40, because she's prone that's as well. That's seven, seven degrees. Seven degrees, success. Oh, fucking... So it's going to be seven. seven. She's going to be KO, yeah. So seven plus your strength bonus? Four. Oh, 11 oh. points of damage, just fucking KO. Oh, oh, oh. 11, <coughs> I take off, that's three. Um, what a brutal finish. It was looking a bit sketchy at one point, and then. No. Seven plus. Hey, I'm just going to He had her on the back foot quick quite back. quick. Okay, so she's gone into critical damage. So okay, and so she's she unconscious. She is unconscious. Right. So that so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get I'm I'm so, <laughs> so ne- 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 kneeling over her like you know like covering her almost like a hold mm-hmm. or like it'd be like a pin move I'm gonna, stroking her hair. This is not. Do you not know I mean? Do you not see this as a defeat? Pain is a lesson. <coughs> the emperor loves you. Is is the, the bell going you. off at that point as well? Ding ding ding. Oh, and I'll stand up. <laughs> And do and do the big. So, so yeah. big I'll tap. I'll tap. Yeah. Wuss boy on the shoulder and point at uh, the big psycho that's just fucking gone nuts. His eyes have gone wide. Like, please no. And I'm gonna go and deal with the person. So I, I no, no, ignore him at this no, point. No, no, no. And I can just imagine it's like, hey, this one might not be dead. <laughs> uh, I, as, as, as I walk off, I sort of say to him, he's a softy, really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kneel down and pray. Well, uh, <laughs> three degrees of medication. Boy there. comes over. Um, yeah. So there isn't anything that requires immediate attention. I said like the shoulder being pushed out, um, and broken bone. Is, so the, has, has but, but the shoulder honestly, actually been pushed out as no, well no, as no, broken? No, it's just, it's just, it's just the collarbone's no. so the collarbone's gone, but your arm just goes. Mm. So yes, yeah, so the box, so the, the collarbone is broken, but I think because she kept trying to use it, she's actually wrenched. She has it popped it. Yeah. yeah, she has popped it. Okay. Pop it back in. Oh, man, I'm at a broken eye socket as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring her round first. Okay. So that she's sort of looking at me. Uh, oh. So you need to roll me a medicate to bring her. <coughs> uh, no, two degrees of fail. Okay. Smash her she's head off the ground. ground. Wake Still. up! <laughs> I will fate that. Ooh, you that last <coughs> Fuck it. He's Yay! One, yeah, he is, he's five, one, de- no. five degrees of success. Okay, so yes, yeah, so bring her around. <laughs> okay. Don't move. I need to put your shoulder back in. This is gonna hurt. She very grimly looked like just nod to you. Okay, I'm gonna give you the count of three. One, two, snap. No, and, one. And I, and I look like I'm about to say one, and I just do it. Uh, that's right. This yeah, is like that's right. the bunny. What? Bang! No, that was a fail. So you know what? Put it back in, right? Yeah, through three degrees of fail. So you're probably gonna trap a nerve if you do it. Uh, three degrees, which means you don't pop it in. What you do is sometimes it takes multiple attempts to get it in. So yeah. you go one, you slam it against your thigh, you do it. And no, you don't get it back in. Hang on, let me check her willpower. Oh, no, she doesn't pass out. She also doesn't make noise. Oh, she's tough. Yeah. We've got an edge here. Something, such a trooper. Okay. Because she'll be expecting it this time, I do one, two, three. Stop for a second and then go because <laughs> she'll brace, stop, and then it'll go. So, 
Yeah, uh, uh, two degrees success. Pop! Oh. Uh, yeah, and you pop it back in. There is an audible, like, as you're doing it. Yeah. And you're like, mm. <coughs> At which point I'll, I'll bandage her arm up and hold it in place mm. and uh, all that good stuff. I will I will help escort her out the ring. Yeah, because by this point she's awake. Yeah, yeah, she's awake and it's only her arm that's the yeah. serious <coughs> issue, so she yeah. can walk out at that point. Yeah, I, yeah I'll, I'll put my arm around her and escort her out the ring. Um, you you've barely been touched. Um, I I got punched in the I, I got punched in the chest, and she had, does she have knuckle, no, she has knuckles? She knuckles? <coughs> oh, spike knuckles. Eh? Yeah, so I got some bleeding on the chest. Oh yeah, <laughs> and the, the the kid didn't want to go near him. Uh, he he's tried, but the whole. It's taking all this time for him to get like even remotely close to you. Okay. Mm. He's taking four steps. points okay. in his chest. At, at, at that point, I, I step over and just push him gently out of the way, like, yeah. and then I'll bandage him up yeah. as well. What is your <coughs> What is your name, sister? That was out the dash. <laughs> it was out. It was out. Think, yeah. Hirabel. Yeah, that was bad. Hirabel. The English name. Your name. I'm trying to I'm trying to bandage him as he's like trying as to he's help. Trying to walk like, out. Fuck's sake. I'll just leave it later. <coughs> An excellent fight. At that point, I sort of give up and just let him bleed. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the rest of the fights happen over the rest of the evening. There's going to be some more war get to it. Right, last bit of the evening. Right. <coughs> You're in the whorehouse. Okay, you uh, have uh, gone up to the mercenary. The one that's like right up, leaning over someone, and she's like, mm hmm. You hear me over and you hear like the most forced laugh ever, like, ha, ha, ha. This guy doesn't even deserve teeth. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, sort her over. So, do I know the girl's name at this point, or is it just like, no, another worker? Just another person. There's only a couple of the girls that you know the names of so far. Fair enough. Right, let's go. You need it on the bar. Some people need some drinks. Yeah, of course. And she like completely like gets out and then like, walks off. And the bloke turns to you like, "Love, love, I need company. Stop scaring my girls away." And your girls. Here to replace it. You keep up that attitude, I'll replace your teeth. Oh! I like a girl with a bit of fire. Are you here to replace her? No. <laughs> I was here to relieve her. Now, now, put your claws away, kitty cat. Don't worry, I can uh, look after you right. Uh, oh, I think my soul's sick. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pass on intimidate. Oh, being yeah. like, look, I may be about half your height, but I'm at just the right area to hit you straight in the bollocks if you keep pissing me off. How many trees of um, success in this place? So just the one. Let's look at any bollocks. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so he doesn't pass it yet, so he looks too bit him and he's gone. Hang on. No, I don't pass my willpower, yeah. so he just doesn't say anything. He tries to he's use his there. ancient taekwondo yeah. techniques, you know, to get his testicles inside his body. <laughs> <laughs> you may want to, you know, go somewhere else tonight. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I would have possible to say something, so. It's like, manners will get you a long way, but for now, they're off, yeah. He gets up and he just like goes, mm. <coughs> straight out. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna do a bye? Bye bye now. Too long. I think I hear your mummy calling. Have a nice day. Right. My brain has blanked on what the guy's name is. The boss. Scrooges? Scrooges. Yeah, Scrooge I was, was watching him, him the it? entire time. Mm -hmm. I was watching Sturgis while this was happening. Yeah. What is his face saying right now? He's got one of those, like, he's got a, a blue one. He's like, oh, yeah, fair play. Fair play, girl. So he, 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 he's like, oh. <coughs> right, I'm going to catch her eye and go. I didn't even have to hit him. Okay, let's <laughs> uh, do. Can you give me a check, please, plus 30? No. No, nothing? No. Nope. Do you have any points left? Mmm. It's the end of the night, I might as well. I'm a fucking idiot. I should think I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. Plus 30, did you say? Yeah. Oh, so close, I was six points out. 
But yeah, I'll use my last fake one. Yeah. Yep, so that's a pass <laughs> by four degrees. Okay. <coughs> so where you are, yes. your uh, the lieutenant is to the right of you. He's taken uh, a data slate, a data oh, so I can do stick. Out of no, you didn't see where it's come from, but he's passed it over to um, the boss. They call him the, 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 the boss, and he's gone and put it into a pouch. First time you've seen it happen in front of you. I'm gonna take note of where the pouch is. Okay, so he's got like on his hips. So the boss is quite a port, like portly man. Not like <coughs> fat, but he's uh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so I'm gonna wait, um, you know, a decent amount of time so that it's not straight after the Passover that I get up and mm -hmm. um, be right back. I'm gonna go get a drink. Of course, love. As I go up to the bar right next to Sturges mm -hmm. and go, Jen's passing data, data six. Thought you might be interested. He's keeping it on his uh, right hand side, just under his cloak, just in case there's something interesting. As I pick up my drink and head back. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Before you go, he like mm -hmm. runs the corner of your arm, pulls you right up close, and goes, "Well, considering he owns this house, all of you and everyone else here." Really mind what he does, love. Keep him sweet for me. Mm. How was I supposed to know that? Oh, no, no, of course not. As, <laughs> as any of the girls, how are they supposed to know that unless they're told? No, oh, absolutely. Because mm. yeah, he's giving you a winkle and he's just gone on with whatever he was doing. Mm. Uh, so you do something, he goes to you. Plus, it shows my willingness to tell him where the important shit is. So yeah, so you lean up to the bar, he pushes a drink to you, and goes, how did you get that bloke to clear off so quick? <laughs> <laughs> um, I threatened to replace his teeth with his bollocks. <laughs> I like a girl with a bit of fire. My girls here are normally timid, and that's how the blokes like him, but would you be willing to try other work? Other job has more jobs available. Sure, what, what sort of thing you got? There's, you know, things that I need taken to other places. <coughs> stuff that needs looking after as it goes. It could be rough work, people might be after you. At that point I'm just expecting her. It's like, eh, I can deal with rough. Okay. Do you want any of the other girls here? Would they be good at helping with such a thing? You know them better than I do. <laughs> oh, she's seen my body. She knows how uh, how much I can take. <laughs> yeah, but taking it and giving it to different things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Safe joke. <coughs> it but wasn't with... actually. It was a violence joke. <laughs> Either way, love. Think about it and let me know. And then I'll have by the end of the night. I'll give you a delivery and see how you do. Sounds good, boss. Okay. Wonderful. So we've done a couple fights. Some things are going on. We'll end that session there. Yeah. Yes. I flat out killed someone. We <laughs> <laughs> got him back. It's fine. To, to be honest, I'm surprised I that did, I, I didn't kill him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't kill mine. Yeah, no, you. If I thought I killed her, I was all ready to just keep punching until I until the head caved in. Oh my. So wait, are you hoping to kill them or no. not? No, no just, just healthy. if they had, then it would have. They're dead anyway. Might as well make, make more of a show of it. Yeah. To be fair, it's, it's then, when you had the um the, the eyes the forehead. Yeah. I was expecting you to frenzy. Yeah, it's I haven't oh. got frenzy. No, no. Lucy. Oh. Because no. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Either, either either it's a KO or yeah. it's a spectacular death. Yeah. More intrigue. Oh, I'm not on mission. I want to be let, let off the leash. We've only been here like four days. We're meant to be here how yeah. many weeks?